Hello, everybody. Just about ready to get started. Welcome, Nate. Let's chat a little bit before we go into the game. I feel 200% better after yesterday when I made the big blunder. One, they did nerf the card. Or copy, getting rid of her hand and then duplicating the abilities. And on top of that, they did change Exhum around the time that I started uh, this game. So I feel 100% better. So I, I wasn't imagining things. I had, not, I had not seen it either on my stream or happened to have witnessed somebody do it around that time last year. So both of those things were part of the same patch. So apparently I missed the patch at some point. So I feel, I feel much better. I don't feel that bad at all. Because that is how it used to work. But that's fine. We don't need those things to break the game. I will just never use those cards again. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I've learned. I'm just like, we're all good now. Like, whatever. Not interested. Although, I will state though, Chad, apparently, we're in the top 2% of players because only 2.1% of people so at the time of this recording have ever bothered to complete the Master Traveler's challenges and only 1.8 have completed the Master Stranger's challenges. We are cruising through those completions. Apparently 10% of the people have beaten the Tower Boss. Yeah, I don't know the exact patch number. It's a little awkward looking up the patch notes. I think it would have been in October. Oh, wait, let's pause the music. It's either October or like literally the patch before October's patch. Or what I just mentioned. Oh, I, ma I made the foolish mistake of using the mouse again. I really hope that they fix that. Maybe one day, chat. <laughs> I don't think before we beat the game they'll fix it, but... I would love if I cling to the game because I use a combination of mouse and controller that it does not lock me into controller. Or keyboard and vice versa. Okay. Go ahead and jump in. We've not dealt with anything there. Making sure I did the thing that I mentioned before. Honestly... I don't know if I even want Morning in the deck now. I don't think it offers me anything that I'm interested in anymore. I think... I think I want to keep the Seeks. Drawing it from my deck is important. And it just happens to exhume, which is fine. Honestly, I might just reduce this to one. I really don't want to draw this card at anymore. I think if I have some really emergency exhumes, I'd rather have Grave Summons. Is that what I'm gonna do? Anything else that I think is worth taking? I might just take four slimy fireballs. Keep the deck size literally the same. So that solves my issue of I didn't have enough four damage abilities. And I didn't think exhuming was like super great, given that we already have a uh, curio that does it. So I think that kind of sets us up for like at least some minimum damage in some rooms. We had an Ancient Gaze since the last time we played. Dig Deep at least is a consistent- you know what? Actually, I think I'm gonna 100% get rid of Morning altogether. I think I actually just don't wanna... Watch this dash was okay, but like, anytime I draw that instead of a damage card, I'm just kinda hosed. Anything else that I think is worth taking? One's advance isn't too bad. That does cover another 4 damage slot for me. Maybe this is what I'm looking to do. Just like a couple one-offs for heals. Gives me more projectiles. I feel like this a bit more. So yeah, just more 4 damage options, another movement ability over Morning. So I think I'm less likely to get caught now. Obviously, I want to seek out Queen's Arrival pretty much immediately, as well as Solar Arrival. Nice Jump is also fine. But I, I think Pawn's, Pawn's movement also does 4 damage and covers what I need. I don't want, like, a, a ton of them. I don't think I'd ever want 7 in a deck. But I think to cover my long-range options, 
or to deal with enemies that have exactly 8 health and I only do 3 and 3 or I the enemy has 7 health and I do 3 and 3 and it doesn't kill it. I sometimes just need something and th anything that spawns decoys, which was what the intent of the spiderling was before. I think pairing that with something that's more damaging, I think just makes more sense now. So this should just strictly be a better version of what I was doing with Spiderling. So I have advanced decoys, I have a long range attack, and I have 4 damage. I have one more movement option. I'm feeling pretty good about us just destroying this run. I could get immunity to petrification, but honestly it really shouldn't be needed. Anything else I want to do? I'm surprised we haven't capped out on some of those cards, honestly. Alright. Well, I guess let's go beat the game. So I think what I'm gonna do is I don't wanna go to the Upmost floor immediately. I want to have some time to build up the deck. Hopefully we should be fine here. We did not draw into Kunai, which is not great. I actually don't mind refighting the boss. It'd be good prep. I thought about if I wanted to go the floor higher or lower. Let's see if I regret going to this floor. Welcome, Kerr. Hope you're doing well. So our goal is to burn as many cards in our hand as possible. So sadly... Can't reveal invisibility and also do anything fun. You can reach me, right? Oh, you actually can't reach me. Oh. It makes my life easy. I'm gonna move up one then. You're doing okay? Oh, I'm a little tired. I did not sleep very well given that we were doing, uh game super late last night. That does reveal still. Our goal is to just cycle through our cards, if we can. Not the direction I meant to go in, but that's fine. like his movements are just gonna troll him. Okay, we need to cycle through our cards. I want to keep some of the good ones, so I don't want to burn them, like, all instantly, but we do need to draw a little better here. I have five infinite kunais. I, I have half the combo. <laughs> I can draw all of my other damage cards out, which is not a terrible idea. Yeah, let's let's start getting cards in the graveyard. Let's do this. Then we're more likely to draw into infinite kunai now and save us some time. Yeah, let's hit the healing statue. Get rid of that. Where are your ranges? So you'll punish me if I get too close. Hit me from there, right? I don't want you coming back. Thank you for the good luck, Calvation. So, because of the fact that we're gonna be exhuming constantly, I can basically just use everything without any regard. Like, honestly? Doesn't really matter what we do here. Kirk is witnessing the power. Do you like me just tanking everything, Kirk? That seems fair. 
I physically cannot use the cards fast enough still. Kinda crazy. Um... I actually want to hit you, if I can. Barrier ranging. Okay, so if I stand on a no-kill tile, I should be fine. I was gonna say, you guys thought you were getting a turn? That's cute. I'm saving Grave Summons for as long as possible. That card is actually insane. I'll be doing Sleep Glyph for now, right? Which I'm immune to, so I can do whatever I want here. damage there, there doesn't matter at all. There's so many things that damage you in this dungeon. I'm glad we brought in a lot of healing. How's RNG looking today? Uh, So far it's mediocre. I have some of the cards I need, but I'm missing the combo. I need to eventually just burn these cards. I don't want to kill on those tiles or else I can't get in the treasure room. I might just burn my hand here. I'm kind of thinking about it. We really, really need to draw into Kunai. Like, there is, like, no... There, there is no if ands, or buts. If we don't draw into Kunai again, I'm going to get very mad. We have five in the deck, chat. We have, what, 55 cards left? There we go. There's part of the combo. So I need to draw one more card. And then the combo is done. I technically only need one, but I can probably manipulate it. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... We still need to draw deeper into our deck. I'm gonna teleport, get rid of one of these cards. Yeah, so watch watch this stupidity, Kirk. I have one kunai. Notice I only have four cards in hand, so I should draw another card. But oops. Look at all the things I could do with my curio now. So if I want any card back in our hand, it's gonna happen. Yeah. So, we're setting up for later. So this saves me a lot of time, by the way, Chad. I can't understate how much time this saves later. Although, I need to not use the kunai for a little bit, but they're there. Ludon asking how the RNG is today. Welcome to the Parameter. So under no circumstance do we ever want to touch the card refresh, or we're in big trouble. No, I do not want to step on that thing over there. Alright, so we have half of the combo. We have Kunai, now we just need learning, and then the run is over. So we have half of the combo. I have Grace Summons, which is not bad. I could just kind of dump that at any point. Doesn't really matter. You know what? I, I need more. More chat. <laughs> you don't understand chat. I need so much more. But keep in mind, I can now move around with Kunai instead of regular movement since it moves you two tiles. As long as your back is not against the wall like this. So I have now near basically double movement for most intents and purposes. And now I can trigger my curio without technically using cards. So this is set up for the future. I think we went in this room, right? I don't think so. Oh, you're you're crazy dead. You know what? Just casually farm while we're in here, don't mind me. Yeah, so every time we kill an object, 
It has initiative health, and then it has on kill health. If you're wondering why we're triggering initiative and precision so frequently, the count it is having one health. So anyway, we have like a million movement options now. Sadly, the, even though it looks like I have a lot here, I need a lot more. I cannot understate to you how many of these we're about to use. This is set up for the future. So every object we see between now and the next couple of floors, I'm gonna pop until we have like near infinite, infinite kunai. I guess it's living up to the name. This person wants me to pay money, well he can go die in a fire. Did we draw it? Oh, we drew it! Oh, fine. Oh no, we, yeah we did. Okay, finally. I'd like to draw Seek, but we have the combo in hand. Alright, okay, so I can start doing shenanigans now. And we even drew my favorite AoE. This card is so busted. I love this card so much, chat. Never take this card away from me. I'm gonna feel so sad. Look at this. Boom. Now, sadly, they do have Retaliate on, which is rather damaging. I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna put them in 1 HP, where my health total really doesn't matter that much. I'd kill one of them instantly from here, I'll think about it. Actually, not if you can hit me this turn, right? Because you have to move. I've already injured the other one. You know what? Let's copy. Oh, we got the worst card. Come on. We could do, we could do so much better, chat. Disappointing. So prayer produces a card every time you use it, but I have infinite cards. Oh, you could do the math on that one, chat. The math says I win. And this is why I wanted Knight's Jump, by the way. Look at this nonsense. Oh, you thought you were done? You're in my world. You know what? I got free movement. I might as well use it. Where'd all your clones go, huh? Stupid clones. Uh, I can't see what my other cards are. I think I have Bishop. So I could end this fight. I probably do. Want to end the fight, I mean. So we have a good chance of drawing prayer again. Every time we draw prayer, it's fine. I'm gonna draw prayer every time if we can. Uh, we got healing stuff, that's fine. At this point, do I want to hold Grave Summons? You got it. Well, let's teleport in. So here's where we could get some true shenanigans happening. Do I kill him? Yes, I want to draw some cards. Oh, we drew another prayer. That's actually perfect. So we've doubled our odds of getting prayer back now. And we got a teleport. That's good. I like movement cards. Uh, how much do I toy with him is the question. Actually, I don't feel like messing around with this enemy. He, he could get out of control if I leave him alone for too long. If we could get a splitting enemy, that's the enemy I want to toy with. The question is, do I even bother curioing? I guess I could. Yeah, let's curio once. Probably should have done this before I went in the other room, because now my kunai are split up with random cards. Something like this. I'm going to slowly get rid of these kunai in battle. The other ones are safety kunai, in case I forget how many I have. So we're going to draw three. I should probably play my grave summon. As I said before, I want as many kunai as I can hold. Which is going to be a lot. Spoilers. <laughs> There we go. 
Mm, bonus challenge room, sure. All right, so I drew three because it's the start of combat. And we drew a prayer back, which is what I want to see. Every time we draw a prayer, I'm winning. That's all you need to know. Every time you see prayer in my hand, that's the only thing I want at this point. Everything else is just kind of messing with the enemy. Um, Is there a way I can shut this whole group down? Kind of. I could teleport here. And I could bad breath them, which is a good pickup. This stops them from doing anything. And then I could very disrespectfully pray in their face. Oh, we got the stun horn. Okay, so we have a get out of jail free card now. Which is good. I'm going to be stalling for a while. What maximum hand size? Exactly. So I could summon something now. I think I do want to do that, potentially. So that gives us a decoy. I can kill him. The only question is, where is this guy aiming? Okay. That guy dies on his own turn. Uh, you know what? I thought about what I want to do. I'm going to go for next level play. Got him, chat. <laughs> I'm sorry, Slime Buddy had to die for that. We're going to draw three. Hopefully we draw prayer. Do not draw pair, that's fine. Um, I would like for you to perish. I have a lot of damage cards. I guess I could afford the grave summon. So they they buff this card. So now the warden card buffs matter because this used to be much smaller of a radius. Because it's now 7x7 seven seven instead of 5x5, five five, and it stuns too. That is a big room that I am completely shutting down by just existing now. So if I see something I don't like, I have the no button. Because losing multiple turns is brutal in this game, so I can set up whatever I want. Let's draw all three cards with Curio. What I could do is, if I burn my cards first... I'm going to draw more cards to put in the graves. So let me do that to get rid of some bishops. I want to draw at least two cards. If this works. Alright. So we're setting up to draw. Alright, we'll do an optional challenge. Draw. We drew from that, and then we draw from prayer. So I think I drew another prayer. That was on the first set of draws. Yeah, so we now have three of our seven prayers. So that means out of 16 cards, three out of 16 are that. And one of them is a seek, which doesn't count. You can't retrieve that. So I have a three in 15 chance of drawing what I need. Or three in 16 after I use this card, of course. So we, of course, are going to start the prayer loops. And now we have two teleport nonsenses. So we could just destroy everything with this movement. Look at this movement, chat so powerful. Uh, question is, where do I want to move? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright, but does that put me in the kill range? It doesn't, because I started over there. Wow. Yeah, just look at this. Disgusting. Yeah, the more we can start looping these queen's arrivals, the better as well. It just shuts down entire rooms. There's nothing fair about that card. Uh, I unfortunately drew another infinite kunai. I wish there was a way to burn a card permanently. I, I kind of wish there was a mechanic like in uh, Slay the Spire, where I could just hard... Instead of exhume, I exhaust a card, because I actually don't want these kunai in hand. They're very hard to get rid of. Uh... I'm going to do this to hopefully get rid of these. I don't want to draw these again. Uh, we drew prayer again. That's what I want. 
We're getting some setup on the boss. So we have a teleport, a heal, a utility wall, which is useless. Stun is probably our best card so far. And toss is also pretty pointless, to be honest with you. That that card is a dud. We we could be drawing things like Limit Breaker. We could be drawing like Last Stand. So like we're purely rating it on the best possible cards we could draw. I mean, it's part of our many infinite cards, but we, we could do a lot better. So we have a decent amount of damage spells at this point. I'm curious how much I should mess around with them. So we could do something like this. Moving closer there is actually really annoying. Let me do something like this. So just summon two if they have distance for it. That's interesting. I can't draw more than one card a turn, so there's no point to me burning extra here. So I'm set up for next turn to draw a card. Do I want to get rid of anything? Grave summons is so strong. I don't remember, Kirk, if you saw me use this card before. If we have, like, 40 cards in Graveyard, like, let's say our combo... Like, let's say I don't draw what I'm looking for, which is Seek. I'm looking for Seek so I can get Infinite Prayer. Um, If that doesn't happen and I have, like, 40 cards in Grave, I have, like, 9 zombies that do 3 damage a turn. So they, they by themselves will kill everything. As long as the Tombstone is out of range. So let's get a guaranteed draw 3 here. I'm basically recharging the Curio. Yeah, the more cards that are in the grave, the better it is. I'm probably going to have somewhere between, like, 15 and 30 by the time we do the boss. So it's not going to be at its, like, full power, but it's going to be pretty stupid. So that's kind of like our boss finisher. As long as we put it in a place where the boss can't target it, it will constantly spew them. So I basically have to put it in a corner somewhere. And if they target it, that's also fine. Because that means they're not fighting me when they do it. So we're just building more infinite kunai. So I have more kunai than I would like. I really want to draw a Seek soon. So I'm kind of getting greedy because I'm digging deeply. But keep in mind now, chat, I have kunai. Which means that every five of these I have, I draw three from our grave. So at some point, I'm going to stop digging for what I'm looking for and just hold the amount of cards that I want in my hand at all times and never use them. Because I'll basically just be cycling Prayer and Kunai over and over again. So like, we're at the like the start of our combo. I think I have one more floor before we fight the boss. Yeah, I still... I don't feel great about our boss odds right now. Like, Kunai's really good and all, but we don't have like a payoff. Other than Gravestone. So, I'm just gonna do this a lot. I guess I could start burning from the back end. So, we really, really need to draw a Seek. We have six left in the deck. I could draw into two more learnings naturally, which is also what I want. I want basically five learnings. It, I could win with three. I'd prefer a bit more. We have a couple of Queen's teleports. I got a healing ability, which is not ideal. Uh, see, this is the downside. I only want one Kunai in the deck technically, but I just want to increase my odds of getting it. So unfortunately, I only got one prayer out of that. It's not super ideal. Um... I don't really like rearrange as a card unless they're within three damage to kill. So I probably won't be using that. So I don't think I'm in range of anything but this guy. It's a problem. He does five damage, so we do not want to get hit by this. I could shoot him. Kunai only does one damage though. Hmm. I guess I'll throw a kunai. I'll throw the regular kunai, because I need to draw cards. And I'll move us face downwards. That should work. This is it before. I'm still looking in my deck for my combo. I have half of the combo. I could just bad breath him here, and there's not much he could really do about this. I 
think that is the play. You're you're not in range by a lot. Yeah, let's do that then. This will get rid of his stealth too, which is insane. Honestly, Bad Breath is just so powerful, chat. Like, I have his health. I get rid of Retaliate and uh, Stealth as well. So it's a non-target ability, and it does the damage, and it forces them to waste a turn. These are all things that I want in an ability. We're gonna go ahead and just... Oh, he's got a shield, so he's not gonna take damage. Let's, let's use this card just for the sake of burning it. We drew Black Hole, which is pretty powerful. That's another really good card to cycle repeatedly. Question is, where do I want to stand? Be here. Goodbye. So we're gonna draw a card no matter what next turn. I probably want to not do anything then. Oh. I didn't realize that was good. I thought it was out of the ra Okay. That's- I guess that's not what the radius meant. That's fine. How did I draw another kunai? That's just kind of unlucky. I mean, they saved me- in a weird way, they saved me a lot of turns there. Like, I don't really care what my hand is at any given time. Let's just be very clear, chat. Like, I just need to draw Seek and Prayer and have them both in my hand at the same time. So if- if my prayers want to sit in the graveyard, I don't really care. Like, by all means, go ahead and do that. But I just want to make sure that if we do this... Can I get out of range? I can. I don't want to kill him because I want to draw a card. I'm really sad we pulled yet another Kudai. Alright, we drew another Queen's Arrival. That's a good card to draw. I'm going to go ahead and just throw this. How many cards do I have in hand? Three. So I could stall for two more turns. As I said before, I'm looking for Seek, or I'm looking for Learnings. Either will satisfy what I want. Another Gravestone. So sadly, I didn't get to use the other one. That's not going to be good enough for us, I don't think. Get rid of a Kunai in hand. So I lost one of my payoff cards, but I don't think that really matters. I have a lot more. Okay, we drew another Prayer. Okay, that's good. I think I'm just going to use a prayer now, then. Okay, that's not a bad one, because it's a teleport. So we now have four prayers in the graveyard. That might be enough to get the combo going. I prefer five, but four is not bad. So I do need to teleport out of here at some point without using an important teleport. Guess I could do this to stall. Get rid of another card, draw another card. Okay, so we drew another card. We sadly did not draw a prayer. Having more bread breaths is good. Having, I think we have three Queen's Arrival is really good. If we could get seven of those in the grave, it means we just have really good odds of drawing what I want. I think I just want to teleport away and stall. I, th I think we could do better. One, two, three, four, five. So I need to burn one more card. So again, we're 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 fighting a very slow enemy, which is perfect for me. Because that lets me card abuse. We got another payoff card. Maybe that's good enough for the boss. I don't need the payoff cards for the final boss because we shouldn't, in theory, have infinite by that point. So it doesn't really matter what's in my hand. Um. So we need to burn a card every turn. Oh, there's the Seek. Okay. Alright, we're almost in business. I could Seek the Queen's Arrival, but I would like to Seek the Learning. So now we need to just spam until we get Learning back. And the reason I want to do this is it's going to put seven of them in the graveyard. So I'm basically loading the odds of me getting what I want repeatedly. And it's going to draw them out of the deck as well. Did I draw it? Damn, I didn't draw it. I'm not that good. Alright, so we're so all those kunai I got earlier, chat. Now you're going to start to understand why I was doing them the way I was doing them. 
Oh, I'm only 1 AP with that. That's a little risky. Let's go collect that item. So keep in mind, I now have a way of just moving around, and the enemy will never catch me. Because I can double move, and it recharges the curio. So if Chad is wondering why I was making so many kunai, welcome to the start of the combo. Now I just walk over twice. There's nothing he could do. We need prayers. Oh, did we draw it? Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So we're going to have a whole hand of prayers. Which is ironic, given that they won't have a prayer. So we're going to go over here, and then we're going to go over here again. See, do you even reach me? No, you don't even reach me still. Wow. I'm going to disrespect prey in his face. Uh, that's another movement ability. Oh, we got a boss killer. Hey, look at that chat. Immediately rewarded. <laughs> right, Kurt? Do you just love random brilliant arrow? Imagine playing Raider without needing to play Raider. <laughs> it's so much better now. So because I used three cards, I put three in the graveyard. So that means I got a three in 23-ish chance of drawing the same prayers again, which is hilarious, by the way. So I might draw into- I drew into it again! So the combo is just gonna keep going, because there's nothing they can really do to stop me. We're gonna move over here. If he wants to do whatever he wants, that's fine. Got another damage card. Maybe one day Raider will be viable. I think- I think late game Raider is viable. I think as a starting one, it feels terrible. I, I hope they buff some of the earlier cards. I think their, like, four and five stars are fine. I think it's just, like, a wall of nothing between one and three. Like, they have some of the worst one-ofs, for sure. Like, there are legitimately so many cards in those ranks I would not play. It's, like, a field of nothing. And I think the problem with that, too, is that a lot of their better cards only come from harder booster pack areas. So I'm, like... I don't feel incentivized to play them, whereas, like, Traveler is just immediately godlike from the beginning. Like, every one of their cards is, like, a banger. Raider is like, oh, I, I hope you have, like, X, Y, and Z, or the card's not gonna work at all. Oh, I got Hypno Cube. That thing shuts down whole encounters. Oh, that's disgusting. Hi. Uh, you thought you caught me, but... Oh, did I draw Prayer again? I drew Prayer again. Chad, it's like cheating. Isn't this like cheating? What can he do? So anyway, Chad now understands why I have so many kunai. But also, we're generating infinite cards. <laughs> so we're just prepping for bosses. That's all this is. Oh, we got another leap skill. That could be relevant later. What can he do but perish? Exactly. I think the problem with Raider is more just, as I said before, early card game balance is terrible. I'm gonna try to draw my uh, prayer back out. I'm gonna do this. We got a good chance. We're drawing three. Oh, look, we drew it again. <laughs> Hi, chat. Like, oops. So you can see we're generating- oh, Energy Ray is perfect. We have an- we have an energy gaining skill for the boss. That's actually huge. That's basically literally free damage and card draw, so I can finally start going in my library if I need it. Not that I think I need it. Oh, we're gonna use another prayer. So again, we're just increasing the odds of drawing one. Did I use all my prayers? I did actually use all my prayers, so we got a reset here. Um... How do we go this way slightly? see where the enemy likes to go. Not like he could catch me. So we gotta draw into prayer again. We now have seven in the graves. So the odds of us not drawing one are pretty low. Just keep in mind, I could just choose not to use any of my other cards and eventually infinite kunai them out. Cross cut. That's a bad draw. That is a terrible draw for how late we are in the game.
Uh, we're finally grouping up some of these cards together, which is good. I really didn't draw another prayer? That's so sad. It's easier to do with a slower enemy. I, my preference is the jellyfish. I'm immune to one of their turns, and then they don't even chase you half of the time. But I'll do it on this character, because we're kind of near the boss. I'll move one more space over, see what he does. Let's draw three. We have good odds of drawing prayer. We did not draw a prayer. We drew Black Hole, though. So Black Hole is basically permanently in our hand, as a reminder, because I don't have to use any of these cards. Like, there's very little they could do at this point. So we're going to draw three again, because we didn't draw what I'm looking for. Hopefully I actually made enough if in a kunai. I might actually run out at some point while doing this. I don't want to go against the wall, so this is as close as I want to get. So we're going to draw another three. There's seven in the graveyard. We have good odds of drawing it in three draws. We did. We drew only one. That's kind of terrible. But anyway, let's put it back in. So we can no longer draw those cards. So remember, every time I whiff, I'm slowly removing the chance of drawing it again in the deck in general. So eventually it's just going to be seven or in the grave. I draw three. I always get three. As long as I use five a turn, it should be good. So the odds of not drawing it now are hilariously terrible. You can see it's like almost all prayers in the graveyard. That's why I left the graveyard thing up right below the chat. Like you can see like almost all of it is prayers. Wow, we didn't draw it. <laughs> okay, chat, that's what we call bad RNG. Chat, there. look how many prayers there are. <laughs> Two, okay, so 14 cards, chat. Seven of them are prayer. Two of them we can't even draw. Oh, excuse me, three of them we can't even draw. So that is hilariously terrible RNG. What a waste of time. We could have had so many more cards at this point. That's kind of upsetting, I'm not gonna lie. Can we please draw a little better? So we have a 12, we have a seven in 12 chance of drawing it. I swear, if we don't get at least two, I want chat to go on like a statistics site and see how, what are the odds of me not drawing at least two at this point in a three card draw? And we're not gonna burn kunai there. Come on. How did we not draw it? <laughs> how? Chat, there's one other card. Wow. What is this RNG? Holy, I'm being trolled. This this is hateful. <laughs> this is hateful RNG. I I you can see all seven chat. I have eleven cards. Three of them are not targetable. One of them is infinite kunai. I, if they are not all three prayer, I'm gonna get so salty. <laughs> what is happening? Holy, this is the worst RNG I've ever seen. I better I better not draw that infinite kunai chat. I swear, if I draw that instead of the other card. I'm gonna lose my mind. That's the only non, the only non card we like. Just don't do it. Don't you dare give me infinite kunai. Yeah, you better give me triple prayer. Okay, so this will save me on how many kunai I have to use. So we drew. I don't know what that is. What is that? Inflict four damage in a scattered area. Oh, I don't think we have this card. Interesting. Uh, I could let the enemy approach. So this will ease off how many kunai we need. I'm going to put them back in the grave. We got another boss killer. Got another AoE clear. That's good. So our combo is almost complete. We drew all but the infinite kunai at this point. That's all we need. And then we're good. So we're going to go into position. I'm running out of infinite kunai, which is sad. But you can see our combo is demonstrated and nearly infinite. It's purely dependent on how many infinite kunai I have in my hand. So these, as you can see, my hand size is starting to get a little out of control. I really drew the infinite kunai. <laughs> Chad, that is, that is heinous. All right, well, it's impossible for me. I, I, <laughs> I need a seek card. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Um, I guess I just use this. What do I want infinite of? Um, 
If I have more black holes, I draw them. You know what? Let's draw more Queen's Arrivals. You know, just more teleports. Why not? Okay, so we have a good chance of cycling. So we have everything we need at this point. I love that I drew Seek from that before I drew Seek from my deck. I don't know what the odds are of me getting exactly Seek. But that is pretty hilarious. So anyway, that counted as a card towards the Curio. So we've loaded it up. Oh, Stun Glyphs are so terrible. I don't like them at all. I don't think they work on flying enemies, if I remember correctly. So we could do the other version of this, which is just walk a little bit and then kunai. I prefer not to do this, but technically I could keep going with the combo. Okay, so we're gonna exhume three again. I'm gonna let him do whatever he wants, I don't think it matters. So we have like the perfect hand at this point. I have every option on every enemy. I just need to get out of the way. So if I want to be more conservative with the kunai, I can now use double prayer here. Don't know what that is, but it doesn't look good. That also looks terrible. That's turtle push. Step before. I can I don't technically have to use kunai. Uh, is that Aerial Ace? Or is that the bird one that does 4 damage? It is Aerial Ace. Okay, so we have Flight now. <laughs> right, Chan? Okay, we have Flight if we really need it. Turtle Push is terrible. Avalanche Slam. I mean, it technically works, but we want more, like, Brilliant Arrows or, like, Alpha Star Earths or whatever they're called. Energy Needle is a really great pickup. Rift Line is okay. Hypno Cube is fantastic in normal encounters. Ancient Glyph is whatever. I could use that whenever I need. So keep in mind, chat, there's also cards that count and slash care how many uh, alternate archetypes I have. So if we draw one of those, we're in big business. The only way to draw them is through prayer because they're not in my deck normally. So any purple card is kind of exciting. Okay, we got another boss killer. Oh, Slime King is really good decoy. That thing takes forever to die. So what did we receive here? Slime King, Alpha Star. Yeah, so that's seven damage. So we could basically just one-shot one of the mages and draw seven, which is hilarious. Steps ahead, place steps ahead, inflicts hex and copy of permission when sprung. strength increases every turn oh so it's like i i have to let it sit there and then if they step on it then it like hex sixes them in premonitions okay it's not bad so we drew into two of our finishers we random prayered into the rest of the combo so technically i could leave if i want to right now but i think we're gonna keep going i need to get more kunai though for sure Unironically, we need more kunai. Okay, I don't care about that. Uh, that might be okay. Oh, the best oracle card. Hell yeah, Mirror Orb is so busted. That's a perfect draw. This is like the encounter ender chat. This card is stupid. You don't remember from earlier? It it constantly lures enemies towards it, and whenever they hit it, they take damage. More importantly, it stops them from ever attacking you. And if you put it at the max distance, that's potentially two to three turns of theirs that you waste while they just have to take the damage. So Apocalypse is our finisher. So we now have the ability to basically one-shot a boss. So think of it this way, Chad. If I Brilliant Arrow for 10, and then I do anything else. Let's see. Let's say even for 12 damage, I can now apocalypse and do 12 damage to the entire room. So we have an act absolute boss finisher here, chat. Like I am going to delete something very hard when that happens. So we're we're basically there. I need like maybe one more boss kill card, and then we need to get another boss kill card while we're on our way to the final boss. Like we have more than enough to deal with the other one. I'd prefer we get one of our. Uh, traveler cards that scales based off of the archetypes that you have. I would really like if we drew one of those. Okay, that's not a bad raider card. That is, is that copycat? 
I always confuse it with that and the other card that looks extremely similar. Ooh. Oh no. Well, we have the, uh... Hmm. Oh, by the way, also in that same patch, they nerfed Copycat. <laughs> just, by the way, I was looking it up the other day. So Copycat, uh, we could just dupe our best abilities. So if I have Gravestone... If I Gravestone, Gravestone, Copycat, I basically get two Gravestones for free. So I could turn them into cards not in my hand. Meanwhile, and that is a lot of pressure on a boss. Again, the boss would have to hit literally the entire arena to deal with that. Anything less than that, and I just dominate the boss. Okay, random card. Oh, uh, we got another projectile. Those are okay. Sometimes we just need other options. I'm. We haven't drawn our big finisher yet with... I mean, we got... Excuse me. We got a big finisher, but not the one that I'm looking for. So there's a couple of ones, in case you missed it the other day, Kirk. Depending on X Traveler, X Oracle, X Raider, X Warden cards, something will happen. So, for example, one of them is like for every Oracle card you have in your hand, summon a Bomb Beetle. <laughs> and then get stealth equal to the number of uh, Traveler cards you have. There's one where the number of Raider cards you have is the distance you move, and the number of Traveler cards is the damage. So, I could just have a 10 damage card. If I draw that right now, it's 10 damage. Straight up. It's just, it's gonna delete everything. Well, I'm getting low on kunai. I love the game not quite able to figure out how my hand is supposed to work. We're testing its outer limits right now, chat. We're gonna draw another three. End our turn. There's no point in moving. So again, we have guaranteed prayer. So while it's still easy to do, I want to grab as many of these as I can. Yeah, like, this is very powerful. Okay, we got another boss killer. So it's stationary bosses will take 7 damage, or mini bosses will take 7 from that. That's a pretty good draw. That's Alpha Star, I think. Yeah. Gamma Star is okay. This is just more fodder for, um... Uh, I would say the, the cards that care about number of cards held. So we have an okay amount of Oracle cards... The game has no idea how to show me my cards anymore. Poor game. It's like, it's like, how many cards do you have? And I'm like, yes. That's how many cards I have. That's the exact total. So I think we could do this a couple more times, and then we're gonna go try to beat the boss. I promise you at some point, I'm not just building infinite power. Well, that's a potentially good card. That card's okay. Card's unfortunate. It works well with Apocalypse, but overkill in this game doesn't really matter most of the time. So, because of their multiple health bars... Oh, that's not the one I thought it was. Oh, False Promise sucks. Never mind. I don't care about False Promise. It, I can make myself immune if I'm really desperate. I just prefer not to use it. It technically gets around retaliate enemies, but I'm not a fan of it. Okay, we got the money toss, so we got another boss finisher. I think we're good. We didn't get the card I was looking for. We still have an okay amount of infinite kunai left. I'll do this maybe two more times. And then we'll uh, continue. And then if I can prayer, I'll try. But at this point, we have enough held cards that I should have enough options for everything. Oh, no, no. I'm immune to sleep in parameter. I literally took the rune to make sure that will never happen again. I took that over HP. Oh, draw five? <laughs> Oh no! Oh no, chat! Oh! Oh no! Draw five in my deck? That's a little overpowered. I don't know if I will want to give myself access to that. Oh no. Oh, is that- is that delete? Is that the- is that the four star delete? Erase, excuse me. Oh, that's so good. That is a perfect end of fight card. That is a perfect card. It's not gonna help me in boss battles, but that is a perfect card to just have when you need to just end an enemy. Oh, we got the worst warding card. Props when you have no props. Oof. That is a terrible draw. That might be actually the worst draw that I could do. I don't ever want to destroy props with this build. And I don't have gizmos. 
Yeah, so I'm immune to the things that will knock my hand out. They could technically stun me, and I'll lose my normally played cards, but that doesn't stop my copied cards from existing. So, technically, they I have a status ailment that does annoy me, technically. But it's not like I can't just infinite back in. As long as I have kunai, there's a way. Energy beam, fire phase that inflicts one damage for each unit it passes through. That's not a bad one. Nightmare, summon ally, weak one of all enemies. Um, that could be good on one of the bosses coming up. I could try it. So at this point, I have, like, near infinite card draw. The game physically cannot determine what my hand is supposed to look like. I think I could do... Let's do one more. And then I'll have a few emergency kunai in case something goes wrong. I still have kunai in my deck as well, as a reminder. So I have outs at both ends of my deck. So this will be the last one. Then I need to just build up a lot of kunai in case something goes wrong, like when we had horrible, horrible RNG the other day. Then we'll try to finish it here. Okay, another teleport is good. I don't remember what that is. Probably, one of those is probably Life Exchange. The other, I don't know if that's, is that Swap, the other card? Let's see, Life Exchange and Swap. Buffalo HP info of two target combat units. Um, I wonder if that works on bosses. Oh, Star Relocate, excuse me. Excuse me, chat. I don't really get the, I don't really get what you're supposed to do with this. Like, is the intent to just have more than one in hand so that I just... I don't know. I never understood this. So, if it was like... I wish what it did was star relocate moves you and the target and where you were... That's where the star goes. But otherwise, as is, it like, it doesn't have any synergy with itself. I'm not sure what the intended use of this was. Like, am I supposed to, like, calculate how much they would move so they maybe walk into it? That feels kind of niche if that was the intended use. I don't know if there's, like, a card combo I'm not thinking of. But I'm not, like, really thoroughly impressed with it. I'll put it that way. Alright, we're gonna, we have only a couple kunai left, so I think we have to end our combo now. Get rid of one of these. This will be the final, the final prayers that we draw. So the everything else in our hand... We're going to keep it as long as possible, but it's going to give us a lot of outs. Do so we have three boss-destroying cards? Okay. Not bad. I still have two finishers with Grave Summons, but obviously there's nothing in my grave at the moment. So what were these two cards? Walled Mitosis? Okay. Let's place the target to its position in the previous turn. I don't really know if that'll help me. Turning units to the state of the start of the previous turn. That could be useful. I can use it on myself, maybe, to escape. So anyway, we should probably just, like, god stomp on this enemy. <laughs> just, do you like how disrespectful that was? I'm like, I, I, just, I guess I'll win, right, chat? Like, okay. Let's get more of the kunai. You can never have enough safety kunai, chat. Listen. Right, let me hide the graveyard. We don't need to see that anymore. Oh, right. Oh, that's a card giver, by the way, chat. So we could get cards just by existing in combat with him. Hmm. I would like to move here, ideally. How greedy do I get is the question. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I can move there. We'll do this. Let's get rid of these enemies. I probably want him to come towards me a little bit. So let's move over in prayer, maybe? Oh, that's one of our payoffs. Oh, there we go. Let's see. What is he going to give us? Oh, he gave us infinite kunai? Chat, the game knows. <laughs> okay. Well, Chad, in case I didn't have infinite kunai, just just get handed it. It's fine. 
Where was that when I was playing earlier? Whatever. Stupid. Um, I guess I could just throw it out of it if I really need to. Holy. Um, I'm gonna take damage here. Is there any way I can avoid the damage? Let's do this. How did I gain an AP? Did he give me an extra AP and I didn't notice? I just attacked. I should be at two. I mean, like, I'll take advantage of it. I just like, whatever. Oh, yeah. Give me some cards. Oh, he's hitting our buddy. That's okay. The importance of that character is very minimal to me. Just hop over here. Do I have another prayer? No, I do not. Guess I'll move over then, and then we'll throw another infinite kunai. As I said before, there's never, there's never enough infinite kunai. The more of these that I have, the more safety I have. And the best part is we're gonna draw our cards back. Oh look, he gave us prayer! Wow, this it this this is like the best NPC of all time. He just hands you the combo. Chat, what a god. <laughs> It's like, here, here you go. Well, we're building up more card advantage. You got another Hypno Cube. That's good. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. What are these? Let's learn. Flash teleport. Teleport and gain AP. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Chad. I forgot about this from last night. Oh man, Traveler, you're so unfair. Why expend AP when you can just gain AP and move? Damn, that would go in my Traveler deck. Oh, discard an effect card and use it. I don't really care about that. This is pretty, pretty booty card. I might just throw it away. I don't, I don't really, I don't really have status ailments. So I don't really care. Like whatever. Why do status ailments when you can win, chat? Like honest question. I guess I just let him kill the buddy. It really matters what I do. I would like to potentially kunai something. Guess I could go. Not in a good position to kunai anything in this room. That kind of sucks. Guess I could kunai the wall if I want to. In position for next turn. Oh, he gave us an okay card. Sorry, card buddy. You have to die for the glory of me getting extra cards. The power of the extra card cannot be denied. It's too powerful. Okay, we finally burned out our bonus kunai, by the way. And we're officially out. So I have to make sure that we're actually using these on targets of interest. So explore is fine, Kirk, because you missed this, I think, last time. Draw two for every warding card in your hand. Heal two for every traveler card. That's one of our payoffs. We're going to go ahead and do more kunai. Yeah, it's kind of insane. Oh, he gave us another damage card. That's good. He killed our buddy, but that's fine. He let us get additional prayers. That's all that matters. Giant Slayer is okay. I don't know what that is. Ooh, I know what that is. That's a Raider Finisher card. Doesn't it hurt you, though? Is that Heaven Lance, Suffer 7 or something? Suffer 3, excuse me. Send target mom to another room in the same dungeon floor. I don't know if I really care about that. Guess we should slowly get in position to go kill this enemy. <laughs> it's like, gee chat, how do we how do we defeat this enemy? Truly he is impossible to defeat. Uh by oh wait. Uh, so let's go ahead and make sure we use. I don't really want to draw a kunai, so I'm going to risk taking less kunai here. Oh my gosh, we have so many cards now. So we have play... I mean, Chad, if you can remember what my hand is. We have Shard Toss, which does 10 damage, so we have another boss killer. So I think we have three cards in hand that do 10 damage total. Let's 
as I said before, I'm gonna do my best to just get the curio every time between battles. And that will set up for prayer. So if I happen to draw a prayer and not use it, I can use it in between battles since it doesn't really matter. But ideally here, I want to put all my kunai at the start of my hand. So I have a good sense of how many I have left. Because they're going to be like super scattered in my hand otherwise. We're turning one into two, so we're getting some extras here. <laughs> I still have kunais as- I have three of the five kunais, which isn't great. I don't really want to be holding those. I'd rather they be in my library. I wish there was a way to shuffle things back into the library, but there's not really a card like that. I don't think I need to do anything this turn. They can't reach me. I think I just prey on them, because it's funny. Okay, we got a movement skill. Got another teleport. So we have a lot of options. Oh, that's one where I can mill five and then things happen. So technically that card is amazing. If we if we had that, I would probably be putting just one in the deck because basically that's just gonna end up in my hand forever. <laughs> I could just do it just to see what happens, but honestly, I'm at a pretty good point where I don't think it matters. Uh, let's just go ahead and just dump on them real quick. Uh, can I actually kill with the kunai is the question. Let's use kunai as intended. And then use other kunai as intended. A little stop them from doing anything. So those cards are now out of my hand. If I draw them again, it's fine. Let's try to draw more kunai. These guys are just perfect. I can also hit our own minions with this as well. If they have one HP, it's pretty much perfect. So many cards. It's just, it just, it can't figure out how to scroll. I feel so bad for the game. It's trying though. It's like, surely you don't have that many cards. It's, it's very optimistic. I wish it remembered where I was in the stack, because I gotta I gotta match that D-pad to get through. I don't think there's a faster way to scroll through it. Maybe I'm wrong. L1R1 doesn't seem to do anything. So many cards. So there's another kunai. So anyway, this is safety in case my hand gets dumped. So basically every kunai, every five kunai is a chance of drawing three and recovering. So at this point, every single one of these matters, so it absolutely matters that I have more than I need. So if something goes horribly wrong, I have a fail safe. Because if we end up with like 30 cards in the graveyard, I have to draw... I don't know, how many would you say? Probably about like 15 cards from there for it to be kind of recoverable. Very easy to lose track of them, so I'm trying to hit the stragglers that we're not done in bulk. The bulk kunai are easier to find, because eventually we're not going to see any graphics on the cards. So I'm not going to remember I have, like, one kunai I did, like, five minutes ago, because I'm not going to be able to see it in our deck at all. So we're grouping up a lot of our kunai now, which is excellent. I hope I don't backflip into the pit. I should... I really don't feel like testing it to find out. I'm just gonna hit these. I don't, this is this is not a day I really want to learn how that works. All right, so we drew our prayers. Um, I guess I could come over here, kill one of the enemies, injure the other two, and I can Queen's teleport again. That kills the ghost, it gets rid of the sarcophagus. Then I just need to do a little bit of damage here and we're fine. Do I really not have a move that hits in front of me? So awkward. How am I in this position? Right, Chad? How did that even happen? Oh, is the fight over? Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's fine. 
So anyway, before I use prayer... Huh? Why am I getting notifications for people still? Chat, do you know how to turn that off? I thought I turned that off before the stream. I literally said when not in-game, do not send me. Or when not in-game, only send me. I don't know why it's displaying that on stream now. It wasn't doing that previously. I'm assuming a Steam update messed something up on this computer. But let me know, chat. I would like to remove that. I don't care about you seeing the achievements. I just don't think it's appropriate for the friend list to pop up while we play. But I find that very distracting. Alright, so we're gonna draw three no matter what. This. Get some more kunai. So I went into settings and then it gave me an option. And I was like, I wanna make sure this is off because I don't really want this on. Whatever. I mean, I can log out of the friends list, I guess, as well. I think Steam automatically logged me into that when it updated earlier again. Put on one of these. Let's go in the treasure room, because we earned the treasure room for whatever reason. Which feeds more infinite kunai. I'm not going to use prayer right away, as I said before. I want to make sure that we're stacking these all together. So now we have a wall of kunai. So I feel pretty good. If something bad happens, I have a decent chance. I think we have over 20 now. So I can get uh, 12 cards back out of our graveyard without technically expending anything. That's probably enough to get the combo back. And then at this point, basically if we don't end up using any cards other than damage cards, we just cycle our damage cards over and over. And I think we have a decent amount of teleport cards where it doesn't really matter. So, like, it, you know, if I get back, like, bi the bishop move versus, like, the queen, I don't think it matters as much. As long as I always have one queen in hand. We have seven of those, from what I remember. So, we have a good chance of drawing those or learning. So, I could just choose not to use learning. Choose not to learn, chat. So many kunai. So, yeah, this, this is feeling pretty safe. I, I am doing, like, extra, way more than I need to do. Paranoia is set in. So let's go ahead and get rid of some prayers. Oh, we drew another boss kill. Nice. So we're almost... Oh, we drew another one of those as well. Isn't that the... Is that the Beam of Light one? Plasma Gate, thank you. Plasma Gate is pretty good. But more importantly, chat, we now have two Brilliant Arrows, two Alpha Stars, Apocalypse. Uh, so that we could potentially do 50 damage plus in a turn at this point to the boss. We have two AP gainers. We can technically draw five if I get really desperate. So we have a million outs at this point. And not to mention a ton of kunai. So I'm feeling pretty good. We should be coming up to the boss pretty soon. So I, I will not be like, oh, we don't need more infinite kunai. I'm like, no, 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 no. You don't understand. I need the infinite kunai. I do not ever want to be in that same scenario we were in earlier. Where I had no infinite kunai, and we just could not draw. So we have two kunai left in the deck. So if we're really desperate, we could go digging. So many kunai. I mean, at this point, it looks like we're... I don't know, what do they look like? They also remind me of like little diskettes, like floppy disks. Just like an assortment of them. They don't look like cards anymore. The, t the images are getting tinier and tinier. It's gonna get through there. Actually, that is really bothering me. Chat, can you please let me know how to remove that? I don't know why that suddenly started. I really don't want to see my friend notifications when I play. Hold on. I swear this is disabled already. I don't know why this turned on suddenly. It happened last time we played. I have it select to not in game. Why is it showing it when I'm in game? I don't understand. I don't understand. That's what my setting is. It ignored my setting. Is that a bug? Show notification toast when I'm not in game. That's what it says. 
In fact, I have it toggled off for when a friend comes online. Why is it telling me this? Is there... Is there thing just broken? Yeah, I literally have when I'm not in game, and when a friend comes online is off. <laughs> It's, it's, it's not even toggled on in that scenario. It should not tell me these things. Steam fleas. Can I log out of the friend thing so I stop getting it, things with it? I'm gonna go offline. I know, I'm like, I swear I'm not like making this up. Like I 100% disabled this a long time ago. I don't know why it suddenly started coming up this week. Crazy. I hope it doesn't activate again. Because I find that very distracting, because I'm trying to look at chat, and for me that blocks, like, part of the image of chat. So I'm like, please don't do that, random Steam notifications. Crazy. Anyway, we have near infinite kunai. So at this point I'm going to draw three from the grave. We have a couple of anti-boss ones. I know, Blue Donna, I don't understand why either. What's the point of a setting if it's not going to read it? Why even make me set it? I can't be more explicit than how I set it up, unless it's one of those dumb things where it's like, oh, you poured it over your setting from another computer, we're just, we're not going to acknowledge it until you resave the form for some reason, even though it's literally the same across multiple PCs. Whatever. Stupid. What are these? There's so many cards. Hopefully now that I've told it I'm offline, I'm going to stop getting prompts. So if nothing else, I hope that covers it. As I said before, I don't care about Steam achievements. I think that's fine to show up in-game. I think it helps people- helps cement, like, what the progress was that unlocked it. But, uh, that should have been forever off. So anyway, uh, well, we have a hilarious amount of cards. So, as you can see, there's- <laughs> you can see my wall of infinite kunai. Like, you can tell where, like, the serious cards start, and then oops all kunai. So we've got a few cards in our graveyard. We might not draw a prayer. Do two prayers, that's fine. There's a Ooh, there we go, that's a perfect angle. Man, that's that's a GG moment, chat. Look at this movement. Godlike. Oh, can I just kill him with Kunai? That would be hilarious. Right, chat? GG, give me my kunai back. Checkmate. <laughs> Imagine actually dying to infinite kunai. Draw more safety cards. Sure, why not? Um, that ability looks good. Flick 6 damage and suffer 2 damage. Okay. I mean, that would probably make me a lot happier to play Raider. I wish we had some more of those. Discard up to three cards and inflict one damage plus one for each discarded card to target combat unit. Chan, I would just like to say this card is booty. <laughs> what, like, hold on, hold on. Raider has zero card draw. Even if I did this, why would I, like, let's say I even had the stranger to recur stuff from our graveyard. Why would I ever use this card? I, I can get rid of up to four cards to do four damage. That is such a bottom tier card. <laughs> like, listen how stupid that sounds. Stuff like this is why I don't like early Raider. That right there, chat? I'm just like, what What ungodly combo did that used to be to make it that terrible? Because that is like not usable. I'm sorry. I just, I would never put that in a deck. It's like masochistic. Like, is there, is there ever a reason to discard cards in this game? I don't think there really is, outside of maybe Traveler. But, like, why would you want that to be your engine over what's already in Traveler? Like, why would you ever want that over Jettison? Like, do you really want the- do you really want to do 4 damage to get, like, 3 energy? Or would you rather just have 4 energy? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not even good on, like, the same tier. Because remember, Jettison's a 1 star. So it's, it's not like, I don't know, that to me is just insane. That would make more sense if it was like Slay the Spire and status ailments were cards and you could discard status ailments. Like that would make a lot of sense to me, right? Like a way to get rid of Petrify permanently. If, if it works like that, I almost get it. 
but it would have to also work through other things like stun. Like, if you could do that to, like, get out of stun and damage, then I would understand the purpose of the card. But if you can't, I don't understand the purpose of the card. I would never use it. Like, only in those niche scenarios. And I think, honestly, if you just have better cards, there's no reason to use those cards at all. Just don't get hit. <laughs> right, Chad? Like, why bother worrying about healing and mitigating damage when you could just win? We have so many shards right now, Chad. Oh, so we have two Brilliant Arrows, two Alpha Stars, one Money Toss, and an Apocalypse. We have six boss finishers right now. We need to do a total of 40 damage to kill the other boss. And we can one-shot the entire room that the boss has. I'm not even sure what that's going to do in the boss fight, other than hilariously break it. Speaking of hilariously broken, we're still getting infinite kunai. Now I feel like maybe, arguably, I have too much kunai. Maybe. Because we need them in intervals of 5, so having like 8 or 9 is not an impressive number. Having like 35, probably a little overkill. So we can toss currently for 10 damage because we have 2500 shards. So as is, I can use the ability. I'd like that even without getting a lot of money per floor, we still have enough to recharge it for one use. And then presumably there should be a boss floor after this. We could give us we could give a small moment of silence for what I'm gonna do to that boss. <laughs> right, Dad, you know that boss is not gonna it's not gonna last long at all. Oh, look at that. Look how convenient that is. You put all the enemies on the don't kill tiles already? Oh, okay. Right, chat? Like, okay. Don't mind me, just gonna murder all of you in one try. Actually ridiculous. Let's do some prayers. So we're still drawing potentially additional outs for the future. And that's the power of the prayer. I can just throw them away every single time. Draw more. That card is terrible. I don't have enough he well... Hmm... I guess I could Royal Kiss the Sleep Orb targets, technically, but that that's kind of niche at this point. I have exactly one card that combos with. That's not exactly what I want to be leaning on. So we're gonna make sure to use the Kunai to make sure we always charge the Curio. I might actually skip doing anything with the Kunai after this room. I think I have enough. If I just do, like... If I just do this to charge the Curio, that might give us enough. But we're, we're going ultra safety, chat. Ultra safety. This run will not end except in victory. I should have a million cures. I have Gravestone, so technically I still have another payoff. Although right now it's kind of on the weaker end. So I know there's going to be at least 10 cards in the graveyard, so I think that's like 2 or 3 zombies, which is okay. But it's not as godlike as having like 30 plus, for sure. Where they just completely clog the movement possible from normal enemies. Okay. I might save this room for later. Like a kunai and get more kunai back. Oh, there was a healing thing in that room, by the way, that was supposed to prevent me from uh, killing their allies, but it never got a turn. A small moment of silence for that enemy that literally couldn't do anything. There's bowling pins in here. I don't think I really care about unlocking the puzzle room. So the problem is this enemy in the middle does a lot of damage to us. We're gonna take some big damage here. Get rid of some side enemies. Goodbye, bowling ball. Uh, let's do this. So sadly, I'm not going to hit all the pins. Because none of my abilities hit pins. So completing that's pretty difficult with this build. What I could do is use some prayer. Because you can't reach me, right? Yeah, you can't reach me, so I might as well just pray. Oh, what's this one? That's sleight of hand. Oh, excuse me. 
hand slate. Excuse me. My bad, chat. Discard target library card and draw a card. Discard a card. Okay. Summon two slime remnants rem rem like the ally. Discard summon two slime remnants. That one's a pretty fun one. Again, these are just decoys for higher level floors. So I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm going to disrespect Kunai them in the face. They'll work harder to reach me. We're gonna draw some cards. I mean, I have no reason to just not keep spamming these. We might eventually get an invincibility card from Warden. Oh, speaking of which, I just draw it. Oh, never mind. The King. Bestows immune one to its summoner, but it kills its summoner if it dies while in combat. Ooh. Um. I don't think I want to do that. Purge self, discard up to three selected cards and shuffle library after each card is discovered. Does shuffle mean it goes back it, from the graveyard to the library? If it does, that's actually pretty good. But anyway, um... Guess I'll be throwing me some kunai. <laughs> right, chat? Like, I'm just... Hold on, let me just go through the wall. Turn here somewhere. I could copycat all my finishers if I want to. It only works on library cards. I think originally it worked on all cards played. You could just infinite. I think it should have just excluded itself. I would have been okay with it duping these other cards. Like, you just can't copy copycat. Like, any form of it. I think that would have been probably fair. Wow, imagine dying to infinite kunai. Shameful. Sadly, not gonna get in the treasure room. We have enough money that if we get another shard, or yeah, I think it's called shard toss. That uh, I probably can afford it. Like halfway there. So, uh, chat, we're gonna say a big moment, a big moment of silence for this boss that I'm about to reach. For his sake, he better not have spawned, or he's in such trouble. Right, Chad? He's in big trouble if he's spawned. I'm actually kind of injured. Let me heal first. I guess I could have healed with the other thing if I really wanted to, but that's fine. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's no reason to not do this, right? I'm gonna draw three, so we got good odds of getting an AoE. I mean, triple prayer is also fun. Oh, they're immediately going to start with Ancient's Gaze? Oh, so the rematch is harder. Interesting. That's kind of difficult. Um, So I don't want to do any summons this turn. I need to do damage, though. If I move over, we're going to get rid of... Actually, I, th I know what I want to do, actually. I changed my mind. I can hit this with Energy Ray. I think that's what I want to do. Where? Oh, he's somewhere in here. I could have Aerial Ace. I regret not Aerial Acing, but because I did that, I have to do this. Where is... Oh, game. You, re you really gotta show me where my hand is. Okay, there we go. Just gotta close it real quick. Um... Or I could have teleported. That would have been fun. Uh... Wow, that's, that's a full room teleport? That's actually bonkers. I'm saving that for later. I don't want to use that on this boss. I'm gonna save her for the other boss. Uh... Let's do something like this. We're gonna teleport here. I don't if this doesn't use AP, this is fine. If it uses AP, okay, which it did. We're going to 
We're going to keep one AP move for the other boss, which is always good to be able to full teleport anywhere. I just need Energy Needle. We're going to draw a card. I don't need to do a... Oh, I drew Seek? Wow, that's... <laughs> that's actually insanely unfair. I'm glad that that was our next card. So let's do 10 damage. So we eliminated a health bar already. And then we're gonna just use Apocalypse, which should hopefully hit everything in the room. So even if he petrifies me once here, it shouldn't matter. If he somehow kills me with one petrify, I will be very salty. Let it be known. Last time it took two. Where is this card? Downside. I know I I know it's in here. I just have to find it. So we could kill both of its hands. But then it doesn't kill any of the other summons. Hmm. Does that matter though? I don't think it does actually. They put a Petrify on me, but I think it's now GG. So I just gotta do 10 damage. I think I could probably do that. If I do this, this does 4. So I need 2 4 damage skills and he's dead. Oh, that's gonna kill our allies. Didn't think about that. Alright, so that's not gonna do enough damage then. So I need to do 2 more 4 skills. That does two, but then it puts it near me, which I don't want. I could probably kill him through Petrify, which is kind of funny. So he's less health than me, so his Petrify should not work. I could just Brilliant Arrow him, I guess. I could just delay and kill him with Alpha Star. Maybe I want to kill him with Alpha Star. I want to make sure my 10 damage one is just kind of free. Yeah, let's just kill him here. BGG. So he's dead on two turns. I could have spent more energy if I wanted to, but I didn't, so I didn't. Let's draw another card, because it's funny. Chat, you know you're gaming the system when you're using prayer in a boss battle. <laughs> right, just straight up chat, that is probably the most disrespectful thing I could do. Oh, they're both still gonna hit him anyway. Oh, that's ultra GG, goodbye. <laughs> just like, like, don't, don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just setting up for another boss. Don't mind me. Okay. Okay, we got Hookshot. That's a fun mobility skill. So I gotta get, I gotta get out of jail free mobility skill. Reshuffle hand in library. Draw one for each card in hand. Oh, no. oh no. <laughs> wow, that is a excellent I messed up card. And it gives us AP. Oh, chat. Oh, we have so many outs if something goes wrong now. That is so strong to get. Like, okay, like, let's say I lose 14-something cards and I draw five. I could still draw four. What card did he give us? Ancient Gaze. That's fine. I did like that card. Oh, well, I guess I'll just rebuild the Curio a little bit. Yeah, that, that was massively disrespectful of me. Just a prayer in front of him. Okay, I think I can afford to do a couple more kunai, and then we'll move on. So anyway, now we just gotta reach the- oh, Now I just gotta reach the next floor. I should probably heal. No sense in dying due to just not healing. That would be a dumb way to lose. So anyway, it does seem like they changed his boss behavior to be more aggressive on rematches. Whereas the first time you fight him, he has more, like, turns wasted, which is kind of interesting. Look at that, it is kind of interesting. Oh, does Petrify never go away? Hmm. Uh, uh... I wonder if Purge gets rid of that? 
I mean, that would be a really lame way to lose to the final boss. If the final boss is Petrify, I'm going to be very, very sad. That I don't think I have a counter to, because that goes through invincibility. That's kind of unfortunate. I thought that was supposed to go away between battles. I don't remember having that after we beat the boss last time. Like, is that intended for it to last outside of the battle? Hmm. That makes me a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. That is so much damage to the entire room. Good bowling ball. No, I can't hit the bowling ball with my attack. What do I want to do here? Do I just want a black hole? Well, everything closer. Hmm. I mean, I can shut down both of these enemies if I need to. Make it a better option. Is there anything worth seeking? Draw my queen's teleports if I need them. Draw the remainder of my bad breaths, which I think would be a bad idea to do. They're good, but I don't need, like, seven of them good. I think, like, three is more than enough. Uh, I mean, I should definitely queen's arrival. The question is, do I need to draw my other queen's arrivals? I think I do. Oh, no, I have two in hand. Maybe that's fine. I need to make sure the mage dies, but I'm also out of range of bad stuff. I'm gonna back up and then just hex them. Maybe that's the play. Does that stop them from using lore? I don't want them to use lore because that eats a turn from me. I got my ability back, so I could seek my teleports, which is fine. It leaves a card in the graveyard for the Grave Summon. A lot of damage. So we're seeing the power of having seven of those potentially on demand at all times. Not that there was any doubt that that ability was broken. In fact, why don't you come towards me? I'm gonna pray again. Oh, we got, we got fish bait? Nice. What a great draw. Do we have a lot of outs against annoying enemies? The other guy is going to die over time. Question is, do I even care? I think I just come over here and use the prayer. The spider blows up on me, whatever, I don't really care. Okay, whatever. Use some prayers. Again, we're still drawing more outs for the future, and we have all of our teleports in hand. So technically, I could still try to do this. This would be easy with Traveler, but I don't think it's really worth it. I don't really want to use my cards when I'm going for the boss. Oh, we drew another shard toss? Oh, come on. Oh, no, we got another boss kill. Shake your head, chat. Well, I can still do 30 damage right now, so unless the boss can one-shot me, I think I'm in good positions to win. So I'm not gonna rule it out. With Petrify at 1, I'm a little nervous. No other enemy can do that, fortunately. Oh, you're just immune to damage? How irritating. Um... Both of you are targeting there, so as long as I teleport out of here, Baleful Shot should be fine. <laughs> They're gonna have the great face-off. That is such a good teleport position, you have no idea. Holy... I can't hit the other guy, but it frees up our slimes. And we're gonna Curio after this? Sure. I'm just gonna end my turn, I don't really care. As long as this guy isn't attacking me, I really don't care. 
Because even if it gets rooted here, it doesn't really matter. Three more prayers. You're not going to hit me this turn, right? Oh, you're just going to do that. Um, I probably want to bishop you. Get rid of one of your health bars. I probably want to bishop you again. So he's not going to attack this turn. He's going to spin web, which I don't care about. Let's use prayer. Oh, we drew another gravestone that way. Oh, so we have a guaranteed finisher now. Oh, that's disgusting. No matter what here, I think they just kill each other. But just move out of the way. Pray. So we're still building up an arsenal for the next boss. Yeah, our slime buddy is just going to finish the battle for us. Oh, I didn't realize that was an enemy. Oh, thanks, slime buddy. Save me some time. I would have been really confused. <laughs> right, chat? I mean, I just end turn, right? It's over? I don't have to do anything. Man, slime buddy is so good for me, chat. Damn, no regrets on the slime fireball. It cleaned up that room and let me stall for cards. What more could you want? Sadly, we didn't draw any cards. I should have kunai before coming in this room. That was technically a misplay. Um... I guess I should do this to hit the ghost. Because he start- Oh, that's what it is. When they explode based off of their status ailment, that's what causes it. Oh, I should have been paying attention yesterday. That now makes a lot more sense to me, what happened last time. I can just melee you and save the card, right? Why well, use a card? Draw some cards. Oh, I drew my slime fireball again, and I drew my teleports. Oh, I didn't want to draw kunai. Kunai is kind of an unfortunate draw, I'm not going to lie there. We're going to teleport melee twice. His life is unfair. So we need to draw our learning cards if I want to get more cards. So let's go ahead and just use kunai. There we go. <laughs> we use kunai to reset our curio to make sure that we're drawing as many of our movement cards as possible. So even if I don't hit learning here, having like seven queens advance in my hand is also like having learning. So I don't really care what we draw at this point as long as we restore something. So we have Black Hole, which instantly kills. We have a couple of instant encounter over abilities, thanks to Oracle. We almost have enough cash to double us. Ooh, so that is an indicator that we're in a room that near infinitely spawns annoying enemies. So I'd prefer if we can end this encounter in one try. Like, one turn, I mean. Let's hit every enemy. Them splitting is actually very annoying, but I can't really do anything about that. Is there a way? Okay, I just see okay, I could do this. So we could we could skip the gimmick of this horrible room. So if I go here. I can use my other Queen's Gambit to er, advance, excuse me, to finish it off. Okay, we skipped the gimmick of this room. Thank you. This room is so annoying. Uh I guess to explain to Kirk in case Kirk missed it last time. So every single turn you don't end the combat, it spawns two eyes from the void, and they become like all the elite monsters after one turn. And they just keep spawning every turn until you kill X number or you kill all the enemies at once. So I really, really want to make sure we finish that room in one go, or else I waste a lot of cards, which is not ideal. Let's use another kunai because I would like to refresh our curio. So we have 20 cards in graveyard, so our gravestone is basically online. So I'm glad we don't have to deal with that. We've got another tower card. Okay. The odds of drawing a projectile are pretty high, and we did draw one. That is a fantastic teleport location. That is brutal for the enemy. Man, this ability is just so powerful. I mean, just look at this. Two card finish. Actually disgusting. This is actually broken. That it has to be one of the best abilities in the game. It's an AoE that lets you move so far. 
I know. It, it's efficient. It, it's a it's a retreat. It's an advance. It does everything you want it to do. So we're going to go ahead and kunai to get another curio. So we use two cards, but we're going to draw three. So we're actually going to finally draw more cards out of our graveyard permanently, by the way. Thanks to that. I'd like to get a little more cash. I think we're just slightly shy of using the combo more than once. So the final floor, I think, is floor 43. So we should get there in like an hour and a half, I think. We spent a really long time on this setup because I did not really want to go through what I went through last time again. Yeah, that thing right there, those spinning eyes, they need to die immediately. They're priority number one. I don't care about anything else in this room. They need to 100% die. They're not in a good... They're not in a way I can hit them both. All right, so that one just needs a hit. Okay, this is fine. Problem is the sorcerer is gonna lure me. If I get lured, it means I can't use any cards, which means those elite monsters will do whatever they want. So I think I'm gonna try to teleport twice. Ugh, I hate that I have to make this choice. Is this the best position for me to be in? I think it is. We're gonna Queen Teleport again. That way I can hit multiples of these. I probably should have blacked hold before I did that. But I can save myself with... I think a Teleport Summon in melee range. Yeah, this should be fine. Hi. So we, we made up for it. I could have black holed him and killed him. But he lured me, but spoilers. Don't really care. I'm just gonna melee you twice. Do I have anything? Though I don't think I can meditate to get rid of the card. I guess I could just melee to get rid of this for next turn so I can use my cards again. Oh, he just did a close range AOE. I was wondering what he was doing. How much health do you have? You have two health. Well, I guess I'll use some prayers. Let's prayer to make sure that we get another Curio draw. I don't know what that card is. Let's find out, I guess. We just drew into the gambits, into our prayers. Let's avoid some damage for a little bit. Prefer he doesn't center it on me. Well, that's exactly what I did want him to do. I don't care if he doesn't center it on me, like, like, but he needs to also not block my only escape route. That kind of sucks. Alright, so we're gonna get a little greedy here and get another prayer in. Alright, so we can mill, like, ten cards. So if I really need a powerful gravestone finish, we have it now. I think I gotta just take the damage here. Wait. We have ways to heal. I'm not as worried. Okay, we have more than enough shards. Or do we? No, we don't. We need 5,000. So I don't have enough for a double 10 damage ability. One of these enemies, huh? Choice. I probably want to teleport in once I wound him a little bit. So we're gonna get injured, but then would it be basically back at full? We're gonna draw three. I get a turn to do whatever I want, so if it's learning, that's fine. Again, we're just getting assorted cards. Fireball's not a bad card here. I might use it. Oh no, no, it's the baleful one. Oh, it's the one that I like. Slimy fireball. Never mind, we're good. Okay, so we have two fireballs, which I could use. Probably do. Let's do that. Why did I only have one ally spawn? Didn't it show me two? Is it because of Root? Oh, come on. Chat, come on. What was that? Did it not show me the prompt for two slimes there and only one spawned? That was kind of BS. Hmm. That is. Give this up after you're done, maybe. 
I don't know, Chad. That that was a little weird. I that is very buggy. I'll add that to the bug count. So let's see. We've seen like three menu bugs. That was clearly not the correct interaction. That's from some PSO stream, probably. I'm gonna throw another kunai. I did not mean to go in in this way, but I've committed. So that way I can curio again and draw down our card total. Turn. Really? He detonated. Oh, detonated before I could draw the cards. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate. I would have been able to have more here. Well, at least my odds of drawing a damage card are pretty high at this point. So we have three gambits. Or advances, I mean. I keep calling it gambits. I guess because Queen Gambit is technically a chess term. I think my brain goes to that over arrival. Um, Is there a way I can hit both of these twice, is the question. Yes, there is. Okay. I don't really care about the other enemies in this room. These need to die. Like, unambiguously, they need to perish. And I just melee you. Oh. You created a duplicate of myself. Hmm. Oh, he was just in the room beforehand. Karmic Shadow spawn from the Sinister Energy of the Tower, though it helps the one it emulates. I mean, that's probably fine then. So, are they all just targeting me, or are you just gonna. You're not targeting me. Let's come over here and pray. Again, we're getting more safety cards. Let's still teleport in. Actually, does he hit right in front of him? He doesn't. Okay, good. Go we'll punish this. You're full health. <laughs> Our buddy just meleeed the other guys to death. I'm gonna deal with you. You're the only real threat here. And I just kunai. Kunai and retreat. I don't really care. Our bunny might step in the lava and kill himself, though. I don't want to have high regards for the intelligence of our allies. I think we just end our turn here, and if he decides to do anything, I just kunai him again. Oh, that's right. Our bunny moves first. He's fine. Hi. We have so many cards, I physically cannot see how many cards we have in the graveyard. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh, when I lift up the deck, it's 20. Okay, there we go. Again, we're oh we got another copycat. I should probably copycat something at this point. Do we could dupe anything in our hand? So I could keep it basic and dupe. I could dupe a black hole. Is it the same card multiple times or number of cards used? For each two AP. Okay, so I could get double black hole off of that. Maybe that's worth it. Although that, that is going to pull me in the lava and I'm going to die. Let's not do that. Um, end turn, GG. Do anything special there. Alright, so I should probably use it. If I'm really desperate, I can use it on an invincibility move. But so far we've not drawn any safety warden cards. That's like the only thing that... Makes me a little nervous, or if the boss has Petrify Gaze. If the boss has turn one Petrify Gaze, we just lose. There's no counterplay, I just die. Like, just straight up, I'm dead if that happens. I really hope that that boss does not have that ability. Or if it happens, it happens like three or four turns in, where I have time to do some damage. Then I don't care as much. Then I feel like it's my fault if it happens. If it happens turn one, it's just GG for me. There's nothing I could do. Um... I think I want to hit you. Only I could go here. I could get rid of you. I did not look at the tiles correctly. I thought I could hit this whole room and kill it. Um...
This is fine. It's our friend the jellyfish, so I got some turns to stall. It's not gonna do anything most turns. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Then we'll just throw a random kunai. Oh, I almost went on the right side. That would've taken me forever. Build another kunai back while in battle, so don't even waste any. We're gonna end our turn here. We have an unknown amount of graveyard cards. But we have three less. And we drew our teleports, so that's kind of worth it. Here's another prayer. So many cards. I have so many outs at this point, chat, except against the boss. Wish we had immunity. Okay, how many teleports do I have left? Do I only have one? Well, that's actually kind of a problem. Hmm. I think I actually kunai to try to draw our queen cards back. Only having one queen is not good enough. We need at least two. Again, that thing is going to take forever to do anything, so this is like the perfect enemy to just waste time on. I can't get rid of my many kunai that I don't need. That way the game is less of a heart attack when I'm duping. Okay, so hopefully we draw a teleport here, or I'm going to be very sad. I think we got pretty good odds of that happening. We got 20, and there's like 6 in the graveyard. Let's see what happens. Okay, we drew one. That's all I needed. And... Stomp on him. Let's go ahead and use more kunai to guarantee that we draw three. So as long as we do that, we should never be in a bad position. It will decrease how many cards are in our graveyard, which is fine. I don't need a lot for the gravestone to be effective. As I said before, between 20 and 30 is fine. We'll be at around 15, but if I have a big turn, I'm gonna be down to, like, one year or so, anyway. We go, we guaranteed the curio. Onwards. The full health. We're getting there. Oh, I wanted that cash, actually. I don't really feel like waiting for the pawn to go where it needs to go. Only thing was targetable. I'll use a prayer. We could still luck into something amazing, so there's no reason for me to not try it. He's by himself, so what is he even gonna do? Yeah, nothing. And another king card, which to me just feels like really risky for not a good payoff. Like, there's so many things that seemingly could one-shot allies, especially with Petrify. So I'm I'm only gonna play that if I am ultra desperate. Um I mean I'll just stall for our buddy to get there. So he's gonna move up once. He only attacks every other turn. As long as I'm not too close to the pawn, this should just be a free promotion. <laughs> I guess I'll bother with this. We haven't technically gone in one of these rooms yet, so if there's an achievement for clearing the puzzle, I might as well just do it. Given that I have a guaranteed clear. And I would like you to die via ku Actually, you know what? I can kunai I draw another card. Like a genius. We're gonna choose not to kill him here. I'm gonna move forward, though. We're gonna draw another three from our graveyard. So the odds of drawing something useful are pretty high. And we drew another queen's advance. Eh, that card's okay. Again, we're trying to have as many outs as possible. So keep in mind, I think I draw... I think I heal for like 40, because it's two per Traveler card. I think we have at least 10 or 15. But probably more, because they're, they're like off screen somewhere over there. And then uh, we draw per Warden card, so we should just draw our whole deck at that point. If I can't win drawing our whole deck, I don't think I deserve to win at that point. Oh, there's a lore thing. I guess we'll do the lore. Oh! 
Why did I hold forward there? That was scary. Narration, you heard a disembodied cold voice speak to you. Oh, hero of legend, hear our tales. Knowing both lies and truth is the only way forward. No one knows the name of the ancient civilization that lived in the Central Lands. It has only become known as the Ancients. They were quick to follow the Four after they came to be. We're grateful as the formless world became more and more grounded. To celebrate the coalescing of the world of Four Corners, the Ancients built a tall living statue, one that paid tribute to the Four and the Twelve for improving their lives. The effigy was the symbol of the achievements of everyone, the Four, the Twelve, and all the flock that shaped the world, and being that symbol was the reason it was toppled. The stranger destroyed it and then anim animated some of its parts into an engine of destruction and petrifying fear. Ultimately, the statue, under the control of its new master, was sealed away at the dawn of a peaceful era. Yeah, we defeated that earlier. Solar Arrival's a new card. Did we have the... No, no, we have it. We have it in run. Oh, that's our teleport. I thought it was like a sunbeam attack and I'm like, wait a minute, never mind. I actually recognized that one. Alright, so we don't have that many more floors to go. Once we clear this, we're gonna teleport up several floors. And we have like one big final floor. So you have four health, which is a problem. Uh... I don't care about that enemy as much as I care about these enemies. But the problem too is the... This guy is here. I think what I gotta do... I think I gotta throw the mirror. I don't think I have much of a choice here. The question is, when do I throw the mirror? Because that'll stop him from luring me. I could put it here preemptively if I want to. I think this is the right call. Alright, we got rid of a boss option, but... You don't understand how bad it is if those things are allowed to get out of control. Let's split these. And we can wound the demon a bit more. That is a lot of damage we're dealing to them. I'm able to kill one of the more annoying enemies. Unless the sorcerer is immune to lore, in which case I'm going to be very sad. He is immune to lore. That is really sad. Ugh, that feels terrible. Get rid of these. I mean, it could still lure the demon, which I'm okay with. And he, the mage might take incidental damage as well. So this guy can't reach me at all. So what I could do is one, two, fireball. That way our ally should block automatically for me. Which is genius tier. So it did lure the demon. Okay, so that works. He attacked the demon. Are you serious? Wow, that was... Thanks, thanks AI, right, Ty? Like, oh. Well, I guess if they don't consider status ailments, it's not a good plan. I want to make sure the demon doesn't get to do anything, so let's teleport, teleport into prayer. Okay, we got a good damage ability. I think that's six damage with Divine Cross. Oh, it's four. It's fine. Okay, we got some AoEs. So again, we have a lot of outs. Buzzsaw is okay. I don't see myself using it. In theory, I could hit it with projectiles. That way it could spawn stuff near the enemy or potentially mow down multiple groups. Uh, Murphy says, soon I shall be home from work. Nice. We should beat the game. It's just it's just a matter of getting there at this point. So fortunately, we don't have to climb all the remaining 12 or so floors. So it should go a little quicker. So we're within technically 12 floors of clearing, but I think we only have 8 or so. Because we skip up like 5 floors in between. Another chest piece, which is just way too slow. I'm not going to worry about it. I think I'm actually not going to use my learning cards. I actually didn't draw a single queen ability. Ooh, that's kind of terrible. Um, you know what I'm going to do. 
Are you gonna hit me this turn if I don't move? Ill. Oh, I can't risk with what you have. If you have stun, that messes me up so bad. Alright, here's the deal. We need to teleport with our limit. So we somehow didn't draw a Queen's card. We have, keep in mind, chat, we have seven in the grave. The not drawing them in like 21 with three draws. That's kind of unlucky. It's not unexpected, it's just kind of unfortunate. There is a ghost at the other end of the room. And there's a very annoying enemy to my left. Which do I find less annoying is the question. Hmm. I probably want to use a gravestone in this room because I drew very poorly into this room. I don't want to use my prayers since I want to make sure I draw our Queen's Gambit. I kind of wish we had another seek card, but that's fine. I technically can exhume with Grave Summons. Uh, uh, this is so awkward. I can't... I mean, I could teleport in the corner. How bad would that be for me? I think that bad, right? What is he gonna do? Lure me in the corner? That's probably fine. What? 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 Was there a hole there? <laughs> Why am I back in here? Was there a hole there that I didn't see? Does that just zip you off the map? That's insanely dumb. My brain hurts! <laughs> Why? I I guess I could have drawn more cards. I was just more surprised. I really wish I could see if this would get rid of Petrify, but we have too many cards to see. That was a waste of a card. I mean, we're in a new position. Like, in theory, this isn't terrible for us. This is so awkward. The problem is this enemy. If this enemy was not here, or if I kill him in one turn, it's not terrible. I would like to use the gravestone to delete this enemy. So ideally, I'd want to put it, like, here to punish, or here. But the problem is that his AoE is where I would like to put it. I guess this was off the map. I thought that was on the map. Whatever. I, I don't like that it let me do that. <laughs> I feel like it should have probably given me an indicator that that would happen. I thought I was in the room when it gave me the prompt. It really sucks. Um, I don't have a good teleport. I don't really want to injure myself with these cards. Um... If I get hit by the thing on my left, I take 5 damage, so there's a very strong possibility I will die nearly instantly. The problem is that I can't deal with all three threats with one thing because I drew no, te no teleports. I could try to stun everything. Maybe that'll work. Oh, it's only if it's a gizmo. Never mind. This the fatal error is terrible. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. Never mind. I mean, I could technically buzzsaw, blow it up, but that is too many cards. Um, and they're still not in night range for me to do anything. How irritating. That's not useful. We had a decent teleport move, but the problem is I used it to go out of here. I wish I could see if they're immune to sleep. It might not be. They're immune to lore, so that wouldn't help me with the initial one. It's such an awkward position.
So I could stun him to stop him from doing something, but it does so little damage. I don't know if that's really worth it. I could Alpha Star him. That would be too slow. I think I would get... I'd still get Lord. Ultimately, I don't want to get Lord. I could Nightmare the room. It would buy me time, but I still don't have a Teleport. I guess I'm okay with this? And then I just need to get out of there. I just need to survive. I don't really care about duplicating bosses. I mean, I could, but I don't think I need to. Let's... Get out of range here. So I need to go here. And I'm gonna use... Probably not a prayer. I need to use something, though. Um... Is it worth using a stone? I think not when I have this many things. Well, I guess if I put it here, it's not too bad. The problem is more this enemy. If he wasn't shooting there. If I put it up here, it's a little risky. If I put it here, it might not do anything. I think I just gotta hold my turn. I could try to kunai, maybe, to move. Oh, I can hit my allies with that, but that's unfortunate. I could wound this target. That's better than doing nothing. Let's do that, actually. That might help us in the long run. Oh, and that lured him. That's actually perfect. Okay. We got some decently strong allies with us. Did they use the lore on the pawn? Did I see that correctly? It's a little special, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, listen, chat. If they don't want to make good decisions, you know, that that's on them. I'm gonna kill the lore so that our pawn moves forward. What an idiot. This guy's dead as long as I reveal him. I think him for three feels like a waste there. Maybe if I teleport, it'd be more useful. I think our pawn is dead. I don't see how it's going to survive the next turn. And I could come over here and then... I, I would like to draw more from our grave, because we need our teleports. If we don't have teleports, we're kind of in trouble. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's perfect. Goodbye, our pawn. I would like to not kill this enemy, so I'm going to move over here. Oh, I could just barely see the gap there when I hover it. Oh, that's, I hate that. I feel like they should make the walls transparent if there's a floor hazard so I could see it a bit more easily. Like, I, could, I can now understand what this is. I thought this was just gray tile from the wall when I first looked at this because there's not a big color difference between the two. So I didn't really think anything of it. I thought it was just an aesthetic thing. All right, let's draw three from the grave. We need to draw some queens or more bulls. Not that we're in, like, huge trouble, but we really need to draw it. Wait, why is the combat still going? Wait, what? Um... Is this glitched? Oh, no, no, he's still alive. He's still alive. Never mind. I drew three. Did I draw a queen's ability, though? No, I did not. That is really unfortunate. I really want to make sure I do not fall here. We're gonna go one, two, throw a kunai. I would like one more opportunity, but I think the ghost is gonna get the kill here, sadly. I swear, if he goes off screen, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna hold my learnings because I, we need to draw a teleport. Like, just, if we don't draw it, we're in trouble. 
for normal movement. I, I don't think it matters for bosses for the most part. Because we have uh, teleports reserved for the bosses. But I really, really do not want to use those unless we are in the boss room. It's getting 1 AP and being able to put myself anywhere in the room. And on top of that... It being full screen is just kind of crazy. Let's hopefully draw some teleports. It's kind of funny because I put more teleport cards in and I remove more bad cards, but we still drew the bad cards for movement. It's kind of unfortunate. Went from 77 cards and I trimmed seven non-teleporters and put one in. So technically... Okay, we got two movement cards. That's not too bad. Um... There are so many horrible enemies that if I leave them alone, they're gonna give us so much trouble. So I could fireball. None of these enemies I really want to have around for very long. I guess the question is, can these guys reach there? Yes. Yes. So I have to kill them this turn. I'd like to hit all the ghosts so they can actually hit them with other abilities. I could survive a couple of knife chucks. Is it worth coming over here and then double teleporting? That's the question I'm asking myself. It is. I hate that there's this giant gap in the middle of the room because it stops me from being in like a perfect position. Like if I could teleport here, I'd be able to hit three out of four enemy. Actually, it hit four out of four enemies. Oh, yeah, having to choose that kind of sucks. I don't want a black hole, because I'm going to fall down the gap. I do want to use the slime shot at some point. Hmm. I do have a gravestone in case I really want to deal with it. The problem is if there's a ranged character, they can reach the gravestone instantly. So it's one of those ones where, like, it's good as long as there are no ranged attackers. And unfortunately, the thing we're trying to kill is only fast-moving ranged attackers. I'm seeing what other cards we have in here for normal encounters. I'd like to use a couple, potentially. So we have, like, a backup teleport if I'm really desperate. But we need to do damage. Heaven's Lance we'll use to finish the final boss, I think. So we still have two really good ones. I don't see anything in here. I think Hypnocube could work on them. We have a heal card in case we take a lot of damage. Hmm. Builder's Drive is pretty awful. That is honestly one of the worst cards we could have pulled. Destroy target combat unit. And summon two clones of it with half its HP info. I mean, split is pretty powerful. I can't do that on a boss, so I would only use it here. The only question is... Interesting. So I, I also can't put this in a way that it would land. Unless I teleport here and then stun both of them, which feels like kind of a waste. See, we have 40 damage on hand, so I don't need anything special. That would just make us leave the room. I'm out of range of stun, but in theory I could use that. Just wish there weren't so many annoying... I wish I could hit both ghosts, but there is an object in the way, and I'm not in a good position for it. Let me do this then. I really wish I could target him with that ability, but I can't, sadly. So I could teleport here. Do a little bit of damage. I guess I'll burn a bishop card for this. If he reaches me, I'm going to lose my mind. Alright, we got some time. So he'll reach me now unless I summon something. We could just kill him. Hmm. Should probably just kill him. But what do I kill him with? Is the 
question. Could teleport on him and then just smack him a couple times. That might be fun. We are definitely going to use one more infinite kunai. So we have 20 cards in the grave. So we have all seven of our queen's advances in there. I need to draw one and we're fine. So unfortunately, we're not getting a lot of rooms where we're getting easy enemies. Because if we could have stalled, I could have drawn every card out of my graveyard, which is what I want to do at some point. Do I do this challenge room? I think I don't. I think I don't. Oh, challenge room when I don't have queen draws. That is... That is like maximum punish mode. Okay, so... Actually, is this over? Wait, they put all three of them close to each other? What a miracle. That is a miracle spawn. We'll take that all day. Thank you. We ignored another awful gimmick. That is definitely my least favorite gimmick in the tower so far. I don't like them potentially getting infinite spawns. Because I feel like if you're playing anything other than the stranger, it basically forces you to use all of your good cards and it just drains your resources. I think to some extent the Oracle is partially immune to it, but even then, they're still going to have to dip pretty far in their library, because they take some turns to set up, and those turns mean you have to draw more cards. That's not ideal. But like, they, they could have recovered from that by coming here, for example. I'm also sad that the Healing Shrine doesn't get rid of Petrification. Like, is, is that actually intended? I feel like that should definitely go away at some point. So now we're in a challenge room. So we have no teleports. I don't really want to risk a prayer, but we do have black hole, which might save me depending on what it is. Let's see what it is. Oh, oh no. That is... Oh, we drew three queen's arrivals. That's perfect. That is a horrible room. I don't even know where to begin. This is just... This is honestly just kind of horrible. Like, this enemy does a lot of damage to us. These enemies, if left unchecked, can do a million damage to us. I have a black hole, but it's not going to hit them right away. Think about this. So we need to 100% hit the portals. I'm not sure if we need to hit the other enemies. So I could come over here to hit the mage, so the mage is in kill range. I'm basically eliminating another demon from the room every time I kill a portal. And then I can... Technically set up from here? I think that's fine. Can my black hole reach the middle? I really don't want to deal with the demon lord. Let's just end him. We're going to do that into one teleport, so that way I wound basically everybody. That's perfect. Oh, that's not the enemy that I thought was hidden. That's fine. We have some heals. Although he just kind of exploded himself, so that was kind of dumb on his part. That's fine. Rising cards, that's also fine. I'd like some healing, but if we don't get healing, it's not the end of the world. We still have one, two heal cards left. Three, four, never mind. We're holding th four heal cards. Never mind, disregard, there's no panic. Let's use one of these to guarantee we draw a card. Oh, and we can heal here anyway. So we're in the final area now, chat. One last floor to climb, and the game is technically over. So I think we're going for the bad end currently. So we're skipping... Four floors. And there's the treasure room. So I think that's where that would be normally. And then we're going to go up even further, chat. We're definitely not going back. I'm just going to try to beat the game. Going back now would be foolish. That was the easy floor 37. Get a little music change. That's how you know we're at the end. Let's hopefully we curio into something nice. I haven't been using a lot of learning, so we could draw another three teleports, which would be huge for us. 
The odds aren't horrible. I think we just drew two teleports. Yeah, we drew two teleports. It's pretty huge. We need to make sure these guys explode. Is there a way I can hit this? Oh, he only has two health, so I just need to hit him once. So I just need to move in a way that I can deal with this enemy. Wish there was a slightly better position to be in. If I go diagonal from here, I can't hit this target at all. I wish I could teleport here. This would solve my problems. So the awkward holes are making me think about this. So as I said before, I'm more scared of those demon portals than anything else in this room. But I don't think there's a way I can maneuver to hit them the way I want to hit them. If I go one, where's the other diagonal? So I'd have to kill this one to teleport to the other one, which I guess is technically doable. question is, where do I want to do this? Probably kill the thing that's closer to me, if given the choice. Yeah, let's room wipe this side of the room. I had one more teleport I would do this. I sadly can't summon any allies either, which is really awkward. So we're just gonna have to deal with whatever it sends. If I had one more teleport, we would have been fine. Um. Well, actually, this is fine. We'll risk it in the next room. Alright, so we're no teleports, but I drew most of my learnings out of there, so I should have a decent number in there. Welcome back, Murphy. I'm gonna recharge our curio. So we need to make sure we draw at least one teleport every time, or else sadness will ensue. I could copy counter teleports if we're in like a no pressure situation. We got a shadow buddy. Honestly, this room isn't too bad. We drew, we drew some teleports. I wish I was in a better angle. So sadly, I don't... There's not a single spot in this room I can use this card. This is so awkward. Why did... Why did they make the room like this? Other than to annoy the player, I guess. Well, I can't... I can't shoot a projectile and ever have two slime buddies. That is so awkward. I don't want to teleport in there because I can't really teleport away. Unless I can knight's move to one of them. Which I can't from that position. So I'm in an, another really awkward scenario where I can't injure anything in the room due to how many obstacles there are. I could... No, I can't bad breath. There's too much in the way. Unless I bad breath... Two spaces forward? I guess I could do that. Unfortunately, our ally's in the way, so it, I'm like, is it really worth using the queen to do that? I don't think it is. Man, what an awkward, what an awkward room, start to finish chat. I don't really know how to handle this. Lore is useless. Lore would be great. We haven't been getting a lot of demons, which is good. I don't like dealing with the demons. Don't see something that I would like. I could get rid of, we still have a mirror orb. Apparently we drew more than one. I forgot about it. Um, I could Alpha Strike kill one of them. We have an Erase, but I want to save that more for a Demon than I do the Mages. The Mages are more annoying. Like, they're not going to necessarily end my run unless I'm surrounded by something else that does damage. So, putting myself close to them and not being able to kill them would probably kill me. But yeah, we drew kind of poorly, sadly. I don't have a good option for this. So I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to spam... Oh, and then this guy's going to stop me from being at the start. Of course he is. Uh... Thinking... I need something. I can't summon four because of how the room is positioned. I don't want to summon them near me or I'm going to die. 
Hookshot is not good enough because our own ally blocks us, which is so awkward. This room just kind of blows. I think I have to use a Grave Summon here. I, I don't see a way around this without a Grave Summon. The question is, where do I move? So I can teleport out of the way. I don't want to be in range of any of this. But the problem is they have such amazing coverage in this room. Not really sure how to interpret this. So I guess I might have to just eat the damage here. Don't think I have a choice. If I teleport here, I do wound most of the enemies. I can protect the gravestone with my body. If I need to. This should spawn a lot of zombies. And fortunately put two of them in kill range, but it did put one next to the mage down there, which is actually huge. Um, I could shoot and use this, I guess. Alright, so that mitigates the damage, and I have another slime buddy. We might be fine here. Oh, we even summoned another one? That's perfect, actually. We're gonna show how zombies kind of take over the game. Them using lore on us doesn't matter anymore. We're pretty much safe. As long as they can't hit our... Actually, I'm gonna choose not to do anything here. You can play at this game. Let's pray. Oh, we got another mobility card that also heals us. So they can't hit us at all. He just killed himself for no reason. That's one mage down. I could teleport, that'll do, but then I'll I'll take retaliate damage, which is not good. Are you targeting me? Okay, so you're gonna kill the gravestone this turn. This will be the last time we have our buddies with us. But they did take care of it. They forced the sorcerer to go out of the way and they died. They did some damage to the middle enemies. I would really prefer if I can kill... You know, I'll potentially take damage for this, but this might be fine. If I do this, this protects the gravestone another turn. I think is a good call. I forget how to see the turn order of the enemies. It's been so long since we did it. So the other mage is gonna go first, but they can't hit me. So I think I just pass turn? Ah, right, this should be fine then. draw three and we just got our teleports back that's actually huge so he's gonna choose to consume and not attack here which is actually huge so let's play some more prayers i guess put another card what is that finishing move inflict one damage to all enemies with one current health grit like current health to all damage uh that's whatever I'm just gonna go ahead and try to draw a couple more cards. And what we can do is just inflict a little bit of damage with Kunai, because that's hilarious. Because he did get wounded earlier. So even if he heals here, that's a pretty big damage loss for him. So our, our zombie buddies will kill the sorcerer that's near us no matter what next turn. They might have some trouble with the mage. I think what I could do to draw more cards, maybe draw a couple more teleports. Let's use a couple more kunai. The sorcerer in the bottom might be able to troll our zombies, but if two zombies ever surround him, he just dies. There's no out for him. Let's wound this guy, but the zombie should just hit him first. I'm just doing this to get another curio. So we might be able to fix our situation where we had an awkward draw. We just undid their healing. This should be GG. Yeah. 
GG to that enemy. Slime Buddy will be able to cut off the mage. He heals three health every turn. It's insane. Oh, we drew four tele. Oh, we have four teleports now. That's actually huge. Let's get a couple uh, extra cards. Who knows? We might draw something useful. Oh no! Is that the card that ended the run last time? Yes. Yes, it is. It's terrible. We're not doing this. Unless all I want is, like... I don't know. I don't think there's, like, a single Traveler card that's that OP. I guess having that many Apocalypses would be funny. But nothing I really want to spend my points on. So, he's gonna live a couple turns, and he's not really gonna do anything to us. So I might as well as Curio again. I could get odds of drawing at least one Teleport card. So eventually he's just gonna get surrounded. As you can see, like, he has to get through a wall to reach us. The Gravestone is doing what I needed to do, and he keeps targeting that buddy who seems to auto-heal every turn for some reason. I guess that's just his gimmick. I don't really understand why he gets it. That's fine. Also, we can destroy that Gravestone to exhume, so when we're done with the room, we can just destroy it. We're gonna choose to end our turn here. We don't have to do anything. We have a million summons. So he's slowly getting put into checkmate. He's ha he's having fewer and fewer places to teleport. And if he kills enough of our other things, we summon more allies. We have one, two, three, four, five teleports now. That's actually huge. And we're looking pretty good. Oh, shield. Warden, come on. Oh, I'm sorry, we have six teleports. Well, five. Conditional one. Use a couple more prayers. Guess I'll use a kunai. I still don't think I have to do anything here, so I might as well just generate more cards, but oh my gosh, this is get tedious to get through. Look at this nonsense, chat. Look how many things we have to get rid of. Next turn, I'll throw two kunai. We have retaliate on the slime, which could punish him pretty badly. Oh, our other allies didn't wake up. Never mind, he's not gonna get punished. So I think I'm gonna go have to kill this mage off, but again, we have infinite kunai. So, we could just poke him full screen if we really want to. Did not mean to move forward, but we have to go through there eventually, I guess. We're going to use another one here, and then we're going to draw another three. I might get more prayers. If I get more teleports, that's even better. It sets us up for the future. How many cards do I have? Yes. Wow, I drew six of my teleports. That's huge, actually. But again, we're still trying to get more outs. Like, if we get invincibility cards, that would be huge. AP buffs would be good. Eruption's not bad. Uh, Hex Explosion Orb controls certain enemies, I guess. So we're just gonna keep spamming cards, because... I, I'm not getting punished for it. We're down to 18 cards in the library, so we are making progress. We were at like 22 in the library for a while. Or the graveyard, I mean. Look at that. Look at that wall of colors. I think I have to go end this encounter. I think due to me getting rid of the cards in the graveyard, we're not spawning any more zombies. But honestly, they're pretty good decoys. I mean, they're letting me do this, as chat can see. Like, between our ally there and everything else. Okay, so one last infinite kunai. And hopefully, we're gonna go down to 15. Hopefully, we draw a damage card. Or another bad breath. I'll still take a learn card. That I don't care about holding on to. Let's slowly move forward. Oh, we got another teleport card. That's actually fantastic. And we got a teleport copy card. Oh, what's this card? Draw one, then place target card at the top of the library. Oh, that's funny. I mean, that makes more sense for Oracle. For us, that doesn't really do anything. Let's slowly get into position to punish this enemy. Our zombie blocks the way. 
I mean, that ally has completely shut off that encounter, which is hilarious to me. I guess I could throw more kunai just to draw our cards back. That way we'll go down to 14 in the grave. But the odds of drawing a teleport are much higher, so instead of 3 out of 20-ish, it'll be 3 out of 14, minus however many cards I can't normally draw. Sadly, I'm gonna root myself here, but I have to. So I think just having more consistency would be worth it. It does debuff my kill card, but... Consistency, I think, just... The ability to do, like, three teleports every single room is kind of huge. So I'm gonna hold on to, like, six. That should be fun. So one last kunai. I wish I knew how to scroll the graveyard thing. It seems automatic, but it's, like, way too slow. I don't know what our deck is other than blue. We're playing Purple Stranger that summons everything. 40 plus cards in hand is definitely a blue deck. Oh, you're talking like a Magic Turbs. Oh, definitely. We're, we're, we're technically, I guess... I don't know. We have a lot of copy cards. Oh man, this is such a ridiculous hand. Can we look at what's in our graveyard? We have 14. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cards we can't retrieve from the graveyard. So... Yeah, that's pretty good. So if I end up using my teleports, it'll be like a 3 and 17. Minus 5, so that'll be 3 and 13 of drawing. That's pretty good odds. That is pretty good odds of drawing at least one. And if we draw Black Hole, that's amazing. So I think at this point, we just move on. I think, we, I think we've fixed our graveyard, quote-unquote. So I'm not really that worried anymore. Unfortunately, our allies are now blocking us. I could, in theory, draw more cards, but I think we messed around. Oh. Oh, you're just an idiot. Why would you teleport there? Stupid. Alright, chat. What a big dumb. We exhumed a random card. We drew another prayer out of there. Nice. So we're just increasing the consistency of getting our teleports back now, chat. That's fair, right? <laughs> now it'll be a 3 and 16 of drawing. So eventually, we're just not going to play the cards that we retrieve. Let's go to the next floor. I think, I think we, we've done a convincing enough performance. The 42 or 43, I think, is the final boss. We're getting there. I should probably Curio it up no matter what here, though. So if we can provide consistency, this would be huge for us. So much junk in our... I love the game physically does not know how to handle our cards. It's like, it's like you're going right. How? It's like, what's your limit of cards? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> I was like, can you imagine if your hand looked like this in Magic? Like, don't mind me. I'm just going to draw, you know, 50. I'm also going to create cards that don't exist in the deck. But I have more cards in hand than exist in the library. It's hilarious. Holy. All right, so we're gonna draw another three without expending anything. So we're gonna go down to ten cards in library, and I think five of them we can't draw. So the odds of us getting a damage card are insanely good, and if we draw a black hole, that's just amazing. We did not draw a black hole, but we did get rid of most of the junk that is in here, so that's fun. Need to do four damage at some point. Question is, when do I do it? Do I have any night cards? I do have exactly one. So if I could position myself to night jump, I'll probably kill him then. Yes. I don't think there's a way I can. do something like this, maybe? Get rid of these enemies. Reminds me of the dudes who made a 100,000 card deck or something to basically force wizard. Oh, I, I was thinking that was Yu-Gi-Oh. I didn't think they did that in Wizards, to be honest. That 100% happened in Yu-Gi-Oh. They had people bring in a special case to lift it, and all he did was fill his deck with uh, search cards. Yeah, there's, there's images of that online. It took, like, two people to carry it. <laughs> it was very dumb. But very funny, I will say. Right, so he's gonna teleport. 
I don't have anything I really care about. I mean, I don't... I'd like to do four damage to him. I don't really want to move him somewhere else. I don't want to eruption where I'm standing. I do have a solar arrival, which doesn't help us that much. Um... I think I just move out of the way for now. Is he gonna hit our pawn, buddy? I mean, if he does, he's really stupid. I would love if he attacked the pawn instead of me. That'd be hilarious. Well, I guess we'll see what they're about to do. Let's find out. Oh! I... didn't think he was gonna explode that. That actually took me by surprise. He got me on that one. I was like, oh, he can't possibly reach me. Okay, let's not be on fire. Get some healing in. We're back up to 9 health. Phantom throw is fine. GG is basically you have to be able to shuffle through a reasonable time frame. It's just flat minimum, yeah. Uh, well, we only have one path to go. Oh, no. This is our combat. Oh, I should have curioed one more time. Oh, I didn't charge my curio. That was a misplay. I don't think it's going to cost us anything, but this is going to be very annoying. Oh my gosh, what is this? What is this room? Why did you put a pit here? Ugh. We could be here forever, chat. Hate th this room layout is terrible. Oh my. Could you imagine if you're Raider? What is Raider supposed to do about this room, chat? <laughs> like, like, what would Raider do? That's what I'm thinking right now. I'm like, this room is so obnoxious. There's no lines I can walk in. I wouldn't have AP to deal with half of this. Holy, this room is horrible. And I have to choose which one I fight? Man, that is so obnoxious. I mean, I'm going to have to do what I can here. I don't know what else I can do here. I could wound this target. I can't teleport here due to how awkward the room is. I could do this to injure everything in the room. Maybe this is the right play. We get rid of some of the annoying things. Half of the room is now cleared. I Oh, I have another teleport. Maybe I can make this less horrible. Okay. Oh, this is why we draw multiple teleports, chat. This right here. Unfortunately, the enemy's gonna get another turn, but we're gonna hopefully draw our teleport cards again. Alright, we drew our teleport cards again. That's good. So anyway, chat finally got to see the gimmick that I've been trying to avoid, because you can see it just constantly spawns things, which is so annoying. Um... Honestly, I don't really know what I want to do to clear this room. I guess I could teleport into Kunai, but then I might hop backwards because the game is dumb. I swear if it teleports me, chat, I'm losing my mind. I guess if I'm really scared, I could just bishop snipe it. Yeah, I want the I want this room to end. Otherwise, there's just gonna keep spawning those. Which again feels pretty terrible for most other characters that are not me. I just don't like dealing with it. Also, I forgot to charge it again. I'm definitely just kind of rushing towards the end. I'm making some bad choices. Hopefully I don't get punished too badly. To be a fast clear at least. Uh, goodbye. Alright, so we're guaranteed to draw three at least now. We only really need one teleport card and we already have it for the boss. I kind of wish I could get rid of Key Blast from our hand. That card's kind of dead. We've been drawing very lucky into our heals. To heal 1 HP. Insert dominance. So I gotta be careful not to do that too many more times, because I made the grave car graveyard count go up by like 4, which means inconsistency. I drew... I think exactly what I wanted to draw. Pretty much. Um... I could erase an enemy. I'm kind of thinking about it. But is there a way I can... Not really a way... In every enemy, because of the... the floor. You do this... I'm in safety range. I should have a race in here somewhere, I promise. This is one of the rooms I should probably use it in. 
Because otherwise it takes two spells to kill a demon versus just one. So I'm in a position to dodge. So many kunai. So many kunai. Where's our erase? I know I've been saving it for demons, because I find them very annoying if left alone. We can handle one demon at a time. One demon is not bad. Two demons, they cover too much ground, and they put too much crap in the room. Don't, we really don't want to deal with that. We got a prayer in there for no reason. Uh, I could technically split him. Yeah, let's erase the furthest target. Thanos snap him real quick. And I think as long as I... Get rid of his other health bar, that's not too bad. Also, I just realized there's something here that blocks me. I was gonna teleport here, hit this, and also deal with this, but that's not gonna work. Um... Could bad breath him if I want to build AP. Not in a good position to do any of these attacks, sadly. Uh... I think I gotta do this, actually. I need more room to dodge. Getting wounded there sucks, but the enemy's full screen, so it doesn't matter. So that would put me to sleep if I hit him, but I'm immune to sleep, so... Yeah, I played him there. But he's gonna move closer to me, so I wanna get as close as I can. And now if I teleport on him, to deal three damage to him, we'll take one, two, I'm sorry, two. Uh, forgot he had more uh, damage on him earlier. I probably want to kill him here if I can. Am I bishop snipe? Can't see how many cards are in my graveyard. I have too many cards. Ooh, that's going to put 21 in my grave. Do I want to do that? I feel like the answer is no. Oh, he's gonna summon Gargoyle Statue? Oh, that's perfect then. Let's punish him. Idiot. One, two, three. Save the card. There we go. Now we have... We're not gonna draw our tele or our non-teleport cards as much. Let's throw some kunai to ensure that we draw three. I accidentally created more kunai. That, that wasn't even intentional. I'm just like... I don't want to make our graveyard count go too high. 20 is fine for bosses. We need it lower while we're just walking around. Yeah, the odds of- yeah, see, drawing two of these is huge. It basically just opens up the-, the door. So ideally, I want to put these guys on one health bar, but this guy- the Queen's arrival character needs to die. It's just like, what can I do? Guarantee I do the most damage. Yeah, like, I could hit them like this if I want to, but then this leaves this guy here. So we need to do 7 damage to this guy, or we need to use one of our boss kills on the, the Lord. So the reason why this is a pretty dangerous room is that the guy that's waving his hand in the air with the magic hands, he will lure us, which means we cannot use a single card for at least a turn, and not being able to use cards is death at this point. There's too many things that do, like, 4 plus damage to us, and it's just GG. If that happens, it's just GG. It, unless there's not a big damage source in the room, which two demons would potentially be 8 damage, but they also have Petrify Touch, so I would die no matter what, because I would have less hit points after one swing. Uh, they're immune to lore. If I had another... If I had another delete, I would probably use it on that mage. I can heal with Reef for Spite if I need it, but I don't need it right now. Um, hex would work, I think? I think I can Hex him if I really need to. I could Bad Breath him. That might be a better choice, actually, because that at least poisons him. So I could do something like... I'm here... There's a way I could just teleport without wasting movement. This would be huge. Like, I'm almost wondering if it's better just a bad breath from here, honestly. Rather than move forward. 
Yeah, let's do that, actually. So now we're going to take away his ability to stop me from moving, which is huge. And we can wound him. So he's eliminated. So one of the elites is just gone. And I could do some decent damage here and kill the guy on the far side. That helps. Ooh, that spider is stunned. We need to make sure not to get hit by that or we're in big trouble. Uh, we're in kind of an awkward scenario. So here we could take four damage. This is why the demons are dangerous. I would like to teleport to safety here. We're gonna come over here. I think that's safe, right? So these enemies left unchecked are a nightmare. We're at full health, and we're gonna spend another turn, I think, to draw something good. So we have 21 cards in library, or in graveyard. Um, I have an emergency gravestone if I need to draw it. I could just throw a kunai to draw cards. I think that's the best choice. I can maybe get some teleports back, which would let us clean up this room. Again, one demon, not a problem. Two demons, kind of scary. Two demons and a mage, horrible. I don't want to see that. We're going to draw three. And they both teleported near me, which is huge, actually. If we draw a damage card... Oh, I drew Black Hole. So I have another delete card for later. So I could just teleport in... And then use Queens on them. It's actually huge. Alright, we are definitely going to try to avoid the Spiderling while getting another Curio. Because then we could go down to 17 cards, so we could get more consistent card draw. So this is this is all good. We've corrected me being sloppy earlier, and we're going to get even less cards in Graveyard while being completely safe. And we got one of our kill cards back, which is huge. Because honestly, like sometimes you just need them to dis disappear. So if the other boss that we fight does have minions, we still have minion control. Huge. And now I'm going to draw three. And then after this, I can draw another three. I cannot get hit by this thing or he's going to remove our hand. That, that ironically is more scary to me than the demons are. We're not going to lose our bonus cards, but we have enough good cards in hand that it would just destroy our card draw. Alright, we drew more teleports. That's huge, actually. So we're gonna long range kill him with Kunai. I'm gonna give this spider like the respect it deserves. <laughs> I'm like, I do not want to get into melee with this. Also, also Rip Raider. Alright. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure we draw another three, and we'll be down to 14 in the graveyard. So the odds of us getting a damage card are pretty high. Given that five of the cards cannot be drawn. So we have a 3 and 14 draw, and I think 9 of the cards are damage cards, so pretty good odds I'm going to get another teleport or a damage card. I hate going through this menu. Oh my gosh. Is Okay, so I can zoom in if I want to on the minimap. I was curious about that. But there doesn't seem to be a fast way to... Go through the deck, sadly. <laughs> Die. We're gonna play it very cautious. No more misplays. Would like to beat the game tonight. There we go. Lots of money. Gonna draw three. We see the exit already, which is huge. We drew several teleports. That's good. That hits basically everything in the room. That's amazing. I think that's magma though. I might have made. Oh, I can't hit that with bar ability. Never mind. I keep forgetting. That doesn't matter. I could drop the fire if I want to. Um. That is a lot of enemies I could kill in one shot. I think I go for this. We need to make sure we're not near that crystal or we're going to take a lot of damage. So let's get rid of junk in the room. So I have more places to dodge. Then, preferably, I just move out of the way a little bit. I don't think it's worth black holing here. I could use slimy fireball to one shot the demon if I wanted to spend more energy. Um, 
think it's better for me to just just move just in case. So they're going to teleport on the same object. How does that work? I'm going to move over here for now. I am so glad I moved, chat. You have no idea. <laughs> I knew something stupid was going to happen that would hit that. That would have been a lot of damage. We would have taken like four damage. I'm like, no, thank you. Uh... I just need to get out of range of this one. I didn't see what his status ailment was. I'm assuming I can deny him if I really need to. Let's go over here for now. If I get hit by the roulette damage one, that's fine. I don't think I care about that. I guess I could always just Bishop Respect kill him. I don't know what it is. That's Respect kill. That gives the enemy less teleports on this side. That enemy is now in kill range, which is good. Alright, so it's one less demon to worry about, so that's less crowd clearance this thing has. I just need to move out of range of this attack and we're good. I get another turn. It's gonna start summoning because there's not enough objects in the room, which is perfect. That, that lets me just walk up and kill the other thing if I want to. I should probably throw a kunai to draw some cards. Probably do something like this would be the most efficient thing. Come over here, come over here. Draw three cards. We're back down to 15 in library. Lush Graveyard. I mean, it might as well as be my library. I, I haven't drawn from my library in so long. It might as well as be that, to be honest. Uh, I need to do some damage here. Question is, what do I use? Uh, I guess that's fine. Let's make sure we draw another three. So we're going to be down to 13 in the graveyard. So that is really consistent draw for the end. And right before we go into the boss room, we're going to burn all of our prayers. 100%. We're burning all of them. It's just free cards. I don't care if we draw them again. I don't think it makes a difference. If any of those is invincibility, it's like super over. There's so many cards to go through. It's gonna be like a four hour stream just because like two hours of it is menuing. So yeah, I really hope that in the future they realize how awful this is to go through as controller. I'm wasting like two plus minutes going in our library at this point due to bad RNG. If we just drew good cards with prayer, I wouldn't have this many cards. Yeah, we're gonna leave. All right, so we charge the curio. We have 27 cards in library in case the boss has a gimmick. I shouldn't be totally hosed, including infinite kunai, so I can come back from that. We're on the final three floors. One of them is the boss room itself. What a weird room. We drew more teleport cards. Good. How many health bars do you- Oh, they only have one each? Oh, that's kind of nice. Maybe I just teleport in like this. That helped me. Yes. Not to worry about that enemy anymore. Go over here. I could go over here if I want to. I think I want to. I want to make sure the gates die. These other enemies are not a threat. Gates. I fear those. I could get poly kill for the first time if I want to. If I had more AP. Uh, we're low on teleports. I'm going to hold on to one of my teleports. I'm going to choose to... Hmm. What do I choose to do? I could just announce myself and be like, blah, I am God. Yeah, why not? 
The only thing I'm worried about, what is what is he do? Oh, he just does one damage? Oh, that's not that bad. I, I could take one damage, that's fine. I was worried he was gonna do some gimmick status ailment BS. That would have been kinda sad. Uh, I think what I wanna do is melee you. And teleport here, get like four kills. Heal up. I'll take a damage just to get another... Yeah, I'll take a damage here on purpose. I think getting the Curio recharge is more important here. Yeah, like that's, that's so powerful. I, I couldn't say no to that. I might as well as Infinite Kunai this. So we're gonna set up the Curio again. So we're gonna be down to only 11 cards in Graveyard. That's kind of insane. Considering we were at like 30 something at one point, as a reminder. At this point, I'm just gonna throw Kunai at the match. I gotta use them anyway, so I might as well do this. Come on, final floors, we can do it. <laughs> so many cards. What I would give chat for like a skip 10, skip 20. I think I know what they were going for, but the scalability of this doesn't quite work. I almost think they need to have like a second row. Like, could you imagine if you could have marked cards? Like, how big that would have been? Like, I just have a row for marked cards at the bottom. Just open that up. That would save a lot of problems with stuff that we're witnessing here. I don't know what that means. Judge means I can't do something or I can't get in. Is that like a shield icon? I don't know how to interpret what that is. Not that I really care. I mostly just want to get through here. Um... Hmm... Where can I hit the most enemies, is the question. I can leave the demon alone as long as I kill the mage. The demon gate has to go. I apparently failed. Maybe it was a teleport? Maybe that's what that icon meant? Whatever. That's pretty big damage across the room. So, major threats eliminated. Now I just need to be out of this blast, which I am. Am I out of this blast? I am. Okay, so let's go ahead and kunai him then. Because I can only do one damage anyway, I might as well just build meter. For many, many, many kunai. There we go. Getting rid of the health bar there is huge. It is a little unlucky we didn't draw... more teleport cards. So we have one, two, three, four teleport cards in the grave. We didn't draw them. It's kind of abysmal. <laughs> right, chat? That's... Oh, six. We have six teleport cards. We didn't draw them. We have about a 50-50 every draw. And it improves with every draw. Potentially. Alright, I would like to... I guess one-shot him with the night jump. I mean, when else am I going to use night jump? It's the perfect scenario of why we have a 4 damage card. We delete you. Oh, that's funny. It wouldn't let me move because of root. It's funny. Uh, I guess I threw kunai then. Draw more cards. I mean, in theory, we should just be at like no cards in graveyard if I want to. This is the kind of room to do it in. But I think we should have some. I just don't want it to be our draw cards, because I think at this point we have enough to win. Any more just feels greedy. Draw another three. Ooh, we drew our teleports. Thank you. Let's go ahead and punish this enemy. Oh, it's a stun enemy? Uh, We're going to go ahead and bad breath it, I think. Oh, no, no, I could kunai. Let's kunai, that's better. Save our bad breaths for uh, demons that get too close. Because keep in mind, when you uh, use bad breath, it gets through the invincibility of a demon. So I have a way of getting around them in case they're too close to me. This room layout is atrocious, chat. Right, we're going to do our best here. 
Kill the other thing so there's no big damage payoff. We have a buddy in the corner. So the game is trying to make it a bit more fair, I guess. I don't mind being lured by a single target, but these other enemies need to perish. Yeah, I don't care if this guy hits me, I'm immune to sleep. This is fine, let's heal. Here's some space, draw some cards. They lured the wrong target, that's hilarious actually. We're immune to sleep, doesn't matter. He just stopped in front of me, so he's just ultra dead now. Stupid. But he's gonna walk forward at some point. I might as well as greet him. Uh, do I have anything that does damage at a distance other than bad breath? Bad breath there feels like kind of a waste. I should probably teleport. Cancel stealth. Then go in the corner, let her ally... Oh, our ally went to the bottom left. Oh, well that sucks. Why did our... Why did our ally go the only... But that doesn't reach the fish. AI, please. I, I feel a little cheated there, chat. Like, he had only one real path. He has to cross the bridge to go through here. But he refused to melee to get there. Even though they melee all the time to go between destinations. Whatever. If he'd even just walked up and stopped, that would have been fine. Uh, let's go ahead and heal. I can probably Curio one more time. But we're basically at boss o'clock. I think we have one final room, and then it's boss time. So it's basically like, if I'm counting correctly, it's like three real floors, and then like a challenge room. And then the boss room. Or like an intermediary floor, if there's just items. Alright, so we're, we're gonna be at our best possible draw. We're gonna have so many cards in hand. If I see the boss room, I'm just gonna immediately burn the prayer. Cause you, you never know, we could get something more nonsense than what we have currently. So yeah, this is the final final floor before the boss, I'm pretty sure. Look at this chat, look at this disgusting room. I think chat can see why I wanted to draw as many teleports as possible. This room is nasty. I'm trying to think what would be the best angle to hit all of these. So, so the one at the bottom left has multiple health bars. It might be worth investing to kill this enemy. Is there a way I can hit... Like, I can kill... Oh, the one in the upper left also has multiples. Oh, I don't think I'm clearing all of them. Oh, boy. <laughs> Alright, chat. Oh, boy. That's not good. Um... Well, we're gonna start by clearing as much of the room as we can. We could get rid of another health bar here, so we can kill at least another one of these. So we're trying to eliminate as many elites as possible here. I wish these were a little more lined up, so I could just get rid of all of these now. It leaves a demon alive, but it puts the other target at one health. Maybe this is okay? So we did phenomenal cleanup of this room. This could have been so much worse. So we got rid of a lot of the things that would hit us. So I've, if the thing puts the bait in front of me, this is fine. Oh, this is perfect actually, this is fine. Oh, that was a beaut- I didn't even check to see where he was teleporting. I just believed it wouldn't be near me. I can be honest with you. That was kind of, uh, we'll say risky. I probably should have checked that. I think we're out of teleports, sadly. I mean, I could use my okay teleports. I guess I probably should. Oh, and they have stun. Okay, we definitely do not want to deal with those. So if I can kunai those, that would be huge. Demon teleported near me. I would like to draw a card soon. Yeah. 
best way to do this. Probably something like this to avoid damage. They're both aiming up there. Uh, I have one teleport left. Do I want to use it for that is the question. I could snipe this thing. It should stun the nearby enemy, in theory. But then it doesn't kill the demon. That's, that's the problem with this. Like, I'm in the position where it would have been perfect. But I don't think there's a way I can kill everything near me and also the demon. I guess I could do this for now. Maybe this is okay. So that particular one had sleep, which I think is fine. So what I could do to stall, I'm going to do one of these. So sadly, it means only one summon, but that's probably fine. Burn the slime, nice. The slime buddy was good bait. The poor fish bait is stunned. Okay, we drew our, our teleport back, which is nice. Is that guy injured at all? He's not. Um... I would like to not use my teleport to kill him, but he's in, like, such a weird area. I don't even know what to do. Put me in a better position. Kind of. He can't reach from there, right? Oh, we can. Oh, I think he has to go over things. Um, hmm. Oh, it feels like such a waste. Let me do this. Taliate is huge. I like that he hit the other target and then chased after me, even though he was going to teleport. That was cute, I guess. Right, we're going to use our final bit of kunai. So we're going to be down to 12 cards in graveyard. I swear if we don't draw a teleport chat, I'd be so sad. Like, I don't mean, like, our healing teleport, I mean, like, the queens. Because that is all we really need. We need, like, maybe two if the boss is going to survive more than one turn. But right now we have, like, one super teleport, which we could use to set up a combo. Uh, so he's going to teleport there, which is unfortunate for him, because I have kunai. Alright, we drew basically everything I wanted. So I can just triple kunai him in disrespect here. So I can draw down to nine cards, four of which, or five of which can't be drawn. I do love that I basically have not touched our library since the start of the run. Like, we've not reset our cards. Just shows how ridiculous the recursion is here. So sadly, this did make the run take forever. So I think in terms of real time, I don't see people doing this because there's just too many cards to menu through. But it is very effective. And when all you want to do is win, sometimes it does not matter how long it takes. So we're going to read the last lore thing, I guess. Your disembodied and cold voice speak to you. Oh, hero of legend, hear our tales. Knowing both lies and truth is the only way forward. From the formless world of the time before, the four were able to give it form and meaning, thus creating the world of four corners. However, it was soon clear to the four and the twelve that something was missing from the world they made and stewarded. The world was too firm and unwilling to change. Without change, the world quickly lost its luster in the eyes of its creator. They almost wished that the formless and nothing would return. But then, they finally understood that if they were born from the people of the formless world's wishes and yearnings, so could they do the same. Thus they did, high in the sky at the center of the world, in, con in conjunction with every star, sun, and moon. They wished for change and volatility. The wish took form as the fifth, the youngest sibling, the stranger. Born from a desire for change, it embodied chaos, potential, the unknown, and certainty. <laughs> Definitely chaos if you look at my hand. But the unknown and uncertain were terrifying. Thus, when the people of the world saw the stranger, they feared them. Feared them so much that it became a wish. So we're getting a whole bunch of bonus cards right at the end. So technically we could leave. That's how you know we're done when you see all these things here. But we came here to beat the game. Oh my gosh, if I stepped on that book, I would be so sad. You have no idea. It would actually just be like, not GG, but it'd be very sad. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it should bring them the fear. Alright, I might as well draw three. 
So I'm gonna have as many cards as possible in my hand. So I should have basically infinite teleport. As long as this boss is... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. If I use Purge, does that get rid of Petrify? I don't think this will hurt me otherwise, but I don't see why else I would use this. I could also copycat something if I want to, which I probably should do now. I'm a little worried about the Shuffle the Library. I really wish I could see this. I, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. If I think I'm going to die, I'm going to use it. Copycat. Copy all library cards cast in the previous turn. Okay, so I can cast something and dupe it. So what would I want to do in our hand? I guess, first of all, I'm just going to play a lot of prayers. Uh, we got bad breath. That's cool. Uh, that card is not useful to me. I'm gonna ignore it. We got another AP card. That's actually huge. Plus one AP. Because we can't possibly draw a hook. We have anti-stealth in case the boss has nonsense. Alright, we're, we're covering our bases here. We got more Warden Sucks with that. Don't really care about that card. Charm? No, don't want that either. Come on, something good. Alright, we drew one mobility card, and more importantly, AP gain. So we potentially have uh, 5 AP on the boss, and we have, I think, 50 damage of boss stuff to deal with. So what we're going to do is we're going to cast a random card and dupe it, I guess. What do I want to dupe? I guess I want to dupe our fireball? Just because that's a decoys? Yeah, let's dupe our fireball. I don't want to dupe our black hole, because I don't think it'll be useful in the boss fight, but I could be wrong. Let's go ahead and dupe our card. So now we have two long-range things that summon allies for distraction. So I think Chad would agree, distraction's probably fine. So we have a lot of outs <laughs> going into this boss battle. The only thing we don't have is immunity, so as long as it can't do 10 damage at once, we should be... We'll see what happens. Anyway, now we're on the final floor, for sure. I love that the uh, the symbol is just the giant Chaos Stranger rune. So, let's go a place I've never been to before. Here it comes. Now, the question is, how many phases does he have? Uh, 50 health. I drew more cards because it's hilarious. So he has... Oh, he has all the stranger cards. Yeah, that's a nice arena. <laughs> Chat, that's a nice arena. It sure would be a shame if something happened to it. <laughs> Is he immune to this stuff? Interesting. He actually is not immune to poison. Interesting. So if he ever stealths, I'm just exiting him from stealth. So let's go ahead and get some AP chat. It's time. Let the combo begin. He might actually be dead here. I I'm not even kidding. I might actually one combo him right here. If he doesn't have a phase two, it's actually over right now, I think. One health bar completely gone. <laughs> it's like, he's about to take a ton of damage, chat. I might I might be one card shy. Is he immune to lore? I can't tell. That is the downside of having the... Oh, I had one more copycat. I forgot about that. Is he going to move is the question. Uh, he's probably going to move afterwards. Oh my gosh, I have another AP card. Come on. Okay, if we, have, if we got it, we got it. Oh, is he immune? Wait, hold on. Oh, did he give himself immunity? Is that what that is? You little cheater. Fine, we'll play the game. What a jerk. Battle would have been over. I actually have to survive. What a shame. I wasted the AP that I didn't need it this turn. We have three boss attacks, so we can one-shot him every turn if we need to. 
I guess I could summon things. So I could summon some things if I need to. I don't want to summon the king. That sounds like a terrible idea. Is he immune to this? Okay, he's immune to lore. You have to check these things, because that would be hilarious. <laughs> Chad, he was absolutely going to get one comboed. I had enough AP. I had 5 AP and 40 damage. He absolutely would have been one turned. I could do that to summon minions to distract him. I think if I can, he's immune to Hex. I could poison him in theory, but that wouldn't really do anything to me. I mean, I guess I could stop him from healing, technically. Just to assert dominance. Um, Can I summon Slime King? I know it's in here somewhere. Hold on, chat. We're gonna look for Slime King. I saw the Hex explosion. And then I'm gonna teleport away from him. Maybe I have ways to remove immune? No. Sadly, no. I don't have anything that purges the target. I drew all these cards. I, that has not been a thing I've come across so far in this game. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I don't really care about these. They're Slime King. They're gonna put Slime King in the way. I'm gonna teleport... I don't know, in a way that makes it annoying for him to hit me. I'm a little confused how he's able to target all of that. Maybe because he, like, moves and is able to do that? I mean, I guess I just go diagonal. He targets me, he targets me. Yeah, that's fine. What are you gonna do this turn? I don't really care about star relocate. I just need to make sure we heal once and we're good. Oh, gosh, where is it at in our ridiculous list? Hold on. <laughs> I need to actually see where we're going with this. So let's go ahead and deal 10 damage. I'm going to teleport over here and heal. I guess I could summon more decoys. I got nothing better to do. The amount of kill range. If he could somehow do 8 damage to me right now, I'd be very impressed. I don't think... Yeah, he's not prepping for any of that. Um, I could, I could just play a Gravestone for the sake of playing Gravestone, I guess. Even target it? Look if he will. But then I, I could accidentally block myself with that. That's my only hesitation with that. If I block myself there, it is kind of annoying. I guess I could have put the gravestone on the other side if I wanted to. I don't think it really matters, to be honest. And if I want to, maybe I could just put it here so it's less likely to block me. Yeah, that's fine. That way we can have a zombie off if I need to. What are you doing this turn? Oh, so he's gonna heal. So he could potentially do a lot of damage if I'm not careful here. G-Blast does a lot. Thank you, Kevin Daddy, for the cheer. Appreciate it. Uh, let me think. So that'll heal all the targets and do massive damage. So the only thing I don't want to do is line up with him. He could heal my allies, which is funny. Um, I don't know if he's immune to stun. I'm assuming he is. Is there something I want to do? Because our, our zombie buddy's going to hit him for three. I could teleport in and hit him. I'd prefer not to. But I want to make sure he loses a health bar every turn if we're able to. So many cards. It's just so there's so many cards to remember that we have. Um, so as I said before, we have a way of doing like a million damage. So I could teleport, hit him, teleport away. Is that worth doing? It's like I could go here, 
spare change him. And then move. Do I want to do that though? That that's the only thing I'm struggling with. Like the problem is like my minions are blocking him, so I I probably need this. Because I don't see them helping me in a way. I I could also target the gravestone. With my spare turn. Hmm. I'm just thinking. We could draw more cards if I need them. I don't think I do. So we have two shard tosses and heaven's land. So we could do 30 damage. It's just a question of what do I think he's going to do? It doesn't look like he's going to move. So he's going to bad breath into Chi Blast into Chi Blast. So I could try to punish him with Alpha Star. Then it'll heal, so that's gonna leave him at three. That's not gonna work. I need the I needed the 10 damage one. That would have worked, I think. Hmm. I'm just thinking through our options. So I'm just contemplating whether or not I want to do anything there. So he's gonna heal. So technically, if I'm not facing him, he shouldn't be able to hit me with that. Because if I'm looking at that correctly, it's he'll actually heal me, which is hilarious. So it's likely to one-shot our slime. So the only thing I have to do is just don't line up with him in a cardinal, because he's not going to move. And if I'm diagonal of him, he can't hit me at all anyway. Maybe that'll work. If I'm understanding that correctly, that should be fun. We have a couple of get-out-of-jail-frees. The queen should let me move wherever I need afterwards. I'm just deciding if that's worth it. I wish we had a more short-term teleport. Yeah, the riff is going off. Sorry, chat. There's so many cards to think about. My brain is, like, trying to contemplate what is the minimum number of cards I can use to do 10 damage. Um... I don't think I could do it with our allies. I would like to destroy the gravestone at some point, but it's not a priority. I can honestly mostly ignore it. It's just more like if those zombies block me, I'm going to feel super sad. So I could come over here, do damage to him. Let's toss money at him. And we'll take care of the other. Actually, you know what? We'll just do... In here somewhere, I swear. We have so many cards. Oh, I didn't re Oh, I thought it was in a cardinal. Oh, I would have just moved differently. Oops, I probably should have checked to see how that works. My bad. I should have definitely checked to see how that works. So I guess I just do this to destroy him and the zombies. I don't have to worry about them at all now. If he's immune, he's never going to target me. Then I have two damage spells left, and I draw cards. Okay. Poor Slime King. It's doing its best, Chad. We have a lot of decoys. We'll see what he does with it. Oh, he took poison there. That's kind of funny. Wait. Oh, was it because every target was too close to him? He didn't use the blast? That's funny, actually. That is really funny. Um, I guess I just need to do a little bit of damage to him. I don't even need anything crazy here, I don't think. So he's not even going to attack. He's just going to teleport, right? He can't black hole me. But he could black hole my allies, which would be kind of annoying. I could just hit him diagonal a couple times and then just get out of there. I don't think the thing in the upper left is hard. He could black hole in an enigmatic box. I'm not really sure what he's going to do with this black hole, to be honest. I mean, he could kill any of our allies. That's easy. If I'm here, I don't think he could do anything to hit me. If he black holes this, I get pulled twice. So I just need to do damage twice and then move? So if I move one over to the left, he can't hit me with anything. So I think that's probably fine. So we're going to wound him to make sure our ally can actually do damage. 
I'm gonna go one space over, and he should not be able to do anything. I don't remember what Blast Stones is, is the problem. So False Promise is gonna give him immunity, which is fine, I don't really care about that. I'm more worried about the Black Hole. I'm assuming he can't just cast it on me, because that would just be nonsense. So I guess the question is, where do I want to stand? I could go and do like a little mini teleport, maybe. Let's heal up and get a mini teleport. They should put me at a range of everything. A little mini here. No matter what he does here, I hopefully don't die. Now I already stacked poison on him, so that's actually very silly of him to make himself immortal. We blacked hold of one of the stones. Oh. I don't care about that at all. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm like, oh. Whatever. Well, rip the gravestone. You sure I have enough cards? You know what? I could use some more Calvation. Why don't we uh, infinite kunai? Um. I mean. You know what the sad thing is? I think I could just overwhelm him with summons if I really want to at this point. I don't think there's anything he could really do. I can shoot this to get this off the field and summon more things. Probably for the best. Let's get that off the field. I don't have to worry about it. Wait. Whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why did my volcanic slime remnants not spawn in the lava? I know they're immune. Excuse me. Is there some kind of weird... Is there some kind of weird thing happening that I should be aware of? Did these stop me from summoning? I'm not sure what happened. We've never used this ability before, so I don't know. Maybe those do stop me from summoning? Hmm. That's kind of annoying if that's true. Because we know the fire things are 100% immune to lava. We fought those a million times in other places. I can't damage him this turn. I'm just thinking if there's anything else I should be doing. I could see if... I could just surround him with things to annoy him. Those worked. We're just cutting off his routes to move. I guess for now, I'm just gonna stay here. No reason to move. I think he's just getting... I think he's getting demolished by our summons. Our other slime's gonna venture into the magma. Okay, that's fine. Is he just dead? I think he is. Uh, How many tiles is this between me and him? Not that many, right? Right now he'll take two. I just need to get in range, right? What is he doing this turn? I don't think I really care. It says he's gonna become immune, but he should just be dead, right? Alright, so the reason I'm thinking this chat, we have like a million damage abilities. One of them should be... In here somewhere, I swear. We not have another money toss? I mean, I have a 10 damage move. If I really need to use it, I'll use it. Oh, did I not have a second guilt toss? Or shard toss? I thought I did. Let's it's in our second group of cards. Which is possible. We do have a lot. Do 6 damage if I want to. Huh. Maybe I don't have another one. I thought I had two. Oh, no, no. What's here? So I need to move 1, 2, 3. Faces closer. I mean, do I just kill him with this? Because that'll be one, two, three. This should work. Then I can just teleport or do whatever I want afterwards. If there's another phase, there's another phase. At least I still have some damage cards. If there's only one phase, ultra GG to this boss. This boss did nothing to me. <laughs> Hold on, chat. Sorting through the invisible cards. 
Hold on. There we go. Did you do the accordion real quick? Oh, this poor game does not know how to handle my card draw. Oh, wait. It was over further. I keep forgetting. It's actually a more recent draw. The problem is that there's just so many kunai. So if I ever need my cards back from the grave, we got it. Should be right here. Oh, that's not close enough? That's annoying. I miscounted. My bad. I thought it was a 3x3. Three three. Uh, teleport. What are you doing next turn out of curiosity? I don't think anything that really bothers me. You can teleport on me all you want. I don't think that matters. Yeah, let's get in for the kill. And throw some money at him. Pay for his tombstone, I guess. In here somewhere. Goodbye. False Prophet defeat the one who sits atop the tower. Nice. GG. John, I have to say that was pretty convincing. It took a little while to get there, but that was a convincing boss fight. He got dumpstered, chat. That was so one-sided. <laughs> I, I went up in health for the most part of that boss battle. There we go, chat. Game complete. Just think, chat, he could have been one turned if he didn't have that gimmick. <laughs> he actually would have died in one turn. I had two AP boosters, and we had 50 damage. 100% would have been zero to death. So fortunately, he did not have Petrify Gaze. If he had ever used that at any point, I would have game over, because we still had Petrify from the other boss. So that's fortunate. So weirdly, I think the effigy was harder than him. Yet the world remains the same, sealed once again. Nice little Chrono Trigger reference, GG. I guess we'll talk a little bit during the credits. So what did we learn? Uh, Yeah, Infinite Kunai is still broken. <laughs> Listen, Chad, they can, they can nerf Exume before I really get the chance to have fun with it. They can nerf Copycat. Doesn't matter. It's like, how many cards did I have in my hand at the end? Enough that I blotted out the graveyard count. <laughs> so, I guess right now, I think Stranger is probably the best solo color. I, I, I can do ridiculous things with Traveler, but I, I can't be that ridiculous. Like, Boomerang is really good, but it's not that good. I think it has, like, better matchups versus, like, Demon and Mage. But I, I don't have, like, the sustainability that this one does. So I could see... I could see myself splashing colors if I really wanted to. I think the only one I would not want to do the tower with, honestly, is probably still the Raider. There's too many enemies with Retaliate. There's too many enemies that are, like, kill on, on command. And I... It has good ranged options, but it doesn't have good ranged and move options. Where, like, at least if I'm Traveler, I have, like, basically infinite AP if I really want it. And Oracle has a lot of things to distract the bad enemies. Warden just becomes immune, so technically there's always an out, even if it's very slow. Just, I can't, I can't imagine myself climbing that tower. Maybe if I go right to floors, like, 38 to 43, maybe... Doing that entire tower as Raider? No way. <laughs> I don't even want to imagine it. It would have to be a splash of something. I could see Raider splash with Traveler. Maybe. Or maybe with um, the near infinite card draw with infinite kunai. Maybe we do that to just recur things from the grave. Because technically that would bring back a million Raider cards. It would be like getting around the fact that Raider is terrible at drawing cards. They're like, ha, oh, I put myself at one health. Now I can finally do damage to the enemy. Oh wait, there's four enemies with Retaliate and I don't have Hex. GG. So, I still think like if you could get to them, if you could get them to the boss, we see their power. But we also saw in that boss fight in particular, 
we needed more mobility than we needed damage. And I think Raider, at least towards the late game, gets some of that. But the pure control of, like, Stranger or something like Oracle is just so much higher. So I think the safety of the run is just pretty much guarantees it. It's just going to be slower than if you get, like, really accustomed to, like, Traveler, Raider. I don't see Warden clearing quickly at all. Even with, like, complex setups, I wish they had more AP gain in Warden at, like, higher ranks. I think that would balance them a little more for me. Like, if, if, if it was something like if you root an enemy this turn, gain an AP or something. Because I feel like they have all these, like, cool setups involving the traps, but they just have no AP at all. So unless you splash them into something like Traveler, they feel pretty terrible. <clears throat> I do like, though, that they've been buffing Warden. So at least now when we draw it with Stranger, it's not as horrible. Like, I think having the, what is it, the 5x5 five five horn that stuns for two turns, we didn't end up needing it, but having that as a backup to end the rooms is pretty huge. And definitely the new, what is it? They made it Immortal, Invulnerable 2, then they made it Invulnerable 3, and now you could target other things with it, so you could do puzzles easier. So I think they're going in the right direction with it. So Warden is, like, hilariously unkillable <laughs> with all the changes. Actually, you know what would be really funny, Chad? If we, if we did, like, a Warden run, and we just somehow got Copycat into the deck, and all we did was Copycat the Heroic Surge and then repeat it, just, like, dip a couple points in Stranger for Recursion. Yeah, one, one rank in uh, Stranger so I could use the Stranger Curio to exhume the invincibility. That would be pretty hilariously dumb. It's like, hold on, I'm just gonna draw my three invincible for three turns in a row. Then at that point, you really just need immunity to status ailments. You'd probably just get rid of Sleep, Stun, and Four, and just not care about the game. That'd be pretty funny. I mean, when you have nine room slots, you can afford to do that nonsense. You could do five Warden, one in, one in an, uh, Stranger, one in uh, Traveler. Just jettison cards repeatedly, get them back with the uh, Stranger. I can see something like that working at high level. It's very, very cheesy. But it could be fun. Maybe we'll try like we'll try maybe our first like triple color deck. We finally play like Magic the Gathering and start splashing versus just committing to one color and saying whatever. That is a lot of backers. Yeah, like early on I didn't really see the reason in splashing, but like once we started getting like three to four slots unlocked, I could kind of see the appeal. I, I think we can all agree, though, chat, I'm never splashing Raider. I either commit to Raider, or Raider's not going in the deck. It's that simple. You go to rank 5, or nothing in between. I mean, their AoE damage stuff, I think, is fine outside of Tower. I think as we started getting their other stuff, it's good. But, like, trying to combine that with a deck that doesn't have Brit stuff feels kind of weird. But I do think it means that, uh... Sadly, some of the Traveler cards have more synergy with Raider due to the Grit interaction. I do feel like that is supposed to be like an intended pair to beat the game. Poor Kirk. Kirk was trying to live the Raider life, and I'm like, listen. <laughs> if I just want to beat the game, um, I might pick Raider in some scenarios, but... The only 3 AP and having to choose damage or movement, that's really brutal for Dungeon Crawls. I still think they're probably one of the better boss killers, just from the fact that they have nothing but like 10 damage moves. But as like a solo color, they don't really have a way of getting extra AP. I would have liked to have seen things where it's grit, where like if you use the card with grit, you gain an AP. I would have liked situational AP gain on them. Like I don't think every color necessarily should get that quote unquote. But it would have been nice if they had something to do in Grit other than damage. So I don't think they have any other, like, utility or support with it. Like, they don't... They have, like, one shield card. They have no invincibility. They have no healing. So it's, like, a little awkward trying to get their setup going. In those instances where you can't just do... 
20 damage to the entire room. Alright, well, we beat it. The fate continue. What happens? We're still here. Guess we should check out how many packs we have. I guess I should upgrade the packs if I can. So, maybe... Oh, <laughs> might as well get our Curio. Old heart, start trying to gain 2 HP for each charge. Receive healing, which is reduced to zero. Interesting. That could be fun. I like that opening up builds. Even if it might not necessarily be top tier, I like the idea of that one. I don't know if in practice I would like it, though. I guess in a way it would make Warden worth you. I guess that would fix the issue with Warden that we were just talking about, where, like, it, it needs something else for AP. So maybe all their healing cards can turn into quasi-AP. I guess that's fair. So maybe there are curios that fix the problems I have with some of the solo colors. But anyway, let's go ahead and just open the packs. What did we get for beating it? Any new cards at all? Nope. So sad chat. Higher chance of traveler cards? That's funny. We're still missing cards, by the way. So it would be nice if we picked up something, but we probably won't. So much money. Well, if we needed gems for anything... Uh... Oh, there's another Alpha Star. Oh, we finally learned Flash. Yes! Okay, that makes me excited to do Traveler again. So I have a full screen teleport that gains AP. That is so good. <laughs> One like seven of them in my deck. Because it's basically like Ninja Backpack, but with mobility. So many cards I can't use. I just keep getting King over and over again, which I don't care about. We got more slamming fireballs, another apocalypse. So maybe apocalypse is worth using now. We got more damage cards to go with it. Anything else that's fun in here? I mean, as I said before, we're missing a lot of cards. I like how it keeps telling me I've, I've gained a new card, the king. Though I gained it like a million times. How much money are we up to, by the way? 270,000? Yeah, that seems fair. Uh, did anything happen over here? Nope. I'm gonna briefly check out the arena, but I don't think I want to do anything else. I mean, I think beating the game is the highlight. Like, we... We stomped that dungeon start to finish. I had, like, one close call in one room, and then the rest of it was just one-sided as heck. What is all this? Enter Gauntlet Arena? No. Or Draft Arena? So if I win, I get 999 shards? What? <laughs> and then 2 million gold? Okay. Enter the boss rush arena. I'll probably do that at some point. Maybe we'll save that for next week. Boss rush plus and boss rush. Interesting. Room puzzle. Puzzle. I don't think we've ever used tether web. I tried using it once and got disappointed. I guess we could learn how it's supposed to be used. We have all the cards to do the final challenges. Well, I'm not gonna lie, chat. My brain is not gonna process it. We were up so late doing Dungeon Drafters the other night. I think I'm good. But maybe next week we'll just do the arena and maybe I'll see what these other quests are about. But yeah, I mean, I think this setup worked pretty well. Honestly, I didn't even need to dig deep. I could have replaced that with another Apocalypse. If I had to fix the deck a little bit, get rid of Dig Deep. Maybe go down one infinite kunai. It's like so important we draw it, but I don't think I need that many. Five feels a little excessive. E Blast is like situationally really godlike. I think I'm fine with the Black Bolt. Why don't we add an Apocalypse or two here? So that way, if we play the same deck, we have a payoff card, potentially, in our deck. So if we draw it, we draw it.
So if we do two teleports, or... Actually, how does that work? So if I if I hit more than one enemy, maybe it just means Apocalypse is an instant room clear. So I might actually want Apocalypse more than Black Hole, actually, now that I think about it. Because I'm assuming... Yeah, because I'm assuming if I shoot and I hit a target for four, or I teleport and do three times two, it does six. So actually, maybe I do have enough damage spells to make that useful. Hmm. Okay. Do something like that. Maybe I'll go down a... I never drew the Ancient's Gaze. Might get rid of Black Hole, then. We go back up to Kunai. I don't know if I really want any of these other abilities. It could go above Slimy Fireball. Shadow Warrior was okay. We got to see what it did, but it's like... I wasn't really sold on it. Like, it's... It does heal a lot and it tanks hits, but... But I could just kill the room. I still don't understand what I would use Confer to Chaos on. I'm assuming this is just some, like, Traveler synergy. There's basically no discard cards in Stranger. But like, oh no, I could pull Morning out and use it again, I guess. Oh no, there's not too many like great discard effects in here that I'm really interested in. In fact, is that the only one? Might be. So yeah, I could see it having more synergy with Traveler where I could like pull my Jettison out, or pull my energy gaining card out, discard it, trigger the discard of energy. I, I, and again, I, I just see this as just being really powerful with Traveler. But I think by itself it's not that interesting, which I think is fair. Not every card has to work in a solo color. But I do find it funny how good, like, the rank 1 cards are for, like, every other deck. Except for Raider cards. I can't think of a single rank 1 that I want. There's like several rank 4 and rank 5s, but that's not really a split at that point. Yeah, I don't really care about Viper Shot at all. We never used it. Um... <laughs> I almost... I guess I could put one Shard Toss in there. Just so we have more damage payoffs, I guess. So we, we rely a little less on RNG to win the game. I think that's probably better. And again, I, I don't think I need like a ton of infinite kunai because I just need one, and the more that I have, the more of a dead draw they are in the graveyard. So I think five was a little excessive. If three looked like the perfect number, but I'll take a fourth one for safety. Even I only have 70 cards, I should probably draw it, and I have seeks if I really need to pull something back. So I can, like, if I seek and, or I have a seek and a queen's arrival, I get all my queen's arrivals to get the combo going. But yeah, uh, this curio kind of busted. It let me have, like, basically infinite cards, which is a sign of something that's very overpowered. Rip Strider Gloves. You got absolutely bully nerfed. I don't feel like ever using you again. I'd almost rather use this boots instead. <laughs> The ability to not charge it in between rooms is terrible. Like, you don't really want to burn cards. Do the other thing. It started turn gain 2 HP, cast a Traveler card. That could be good. Like, it start my first room with extra AP, but... I think card draw is more powerful for the, uh... Non-Oracle Stranger decks. Who knows, maybe I'll try the boot card out, so that way I have a guaranteed, like, 6th or 7th card. And I can even charge it by just walking around in the room, the same way we we're kind of doing with the Stranger. I think the ability to gain cards without going negative, like net negative, I think is more important than I think the other methods of gaining this. So I know it's specifically a Traveler card, which helps, but if you're only playing solo Traveler, honestly, I might just use the boots. We'll try that next time, at some point. So we still have a lot of curios we haven't attained. We have some challenges we have left to do. But otherwise, from our standpoint, we don't have that much left to unlock. So maybe we'll at least go to completing the arena next week. We'll stop there. Anyway, chat, let's let's take a break here since we're going on four hours. Are there any other final thoughts I want to give to the game so far? 
I think we'll check out the arena. If the bonus ending isn't like really long, I'll consider doing that before we give a review. But I think where I'm standing when I've tested some of the buffs and nerfs to the different cards, I think Warden is definitely in a, a decent place. I'm not going to call it a good place. I, I think if I had any of those buffs from the last two patches when we were doing the Warden challenges, we would have been done like hours, hours sooner. Because the difference of only doing one damage on the route, and also the distance is a penalty, and also most things don't reach, uh, definitely slowed our gameplay down. Like, imagine if I could have been stunning the bosses when we were doing the arena fight. Remember how horrible that was as Warden? Like, imagine if when we were doing... Because we were doing the challenge where we had only melee, I think it was. Because we, we had some gimmick challenge that we had to get to a certain floor. So trying to beat it with that deck felt terrible. Warden by itself, I think, is fine in mid-game. Like, we got to see a lot of interesting things with, like, Magma Gate, and when you're allowed to use the Gizmos, it's a lot of fun. So maybe we'll try a risky one where we just remove all ability to heal. Which is not as risky as long as we have enough invulnerable moves. And there are quite a few of them in the deck. So we'll, we'll take a look. But I think for now, chat, I am done with Dungeon Drafters for the night. Let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point in the video at the bottom, I'd just like to say thank you for watching, and see you in the next parts.